Hey everyone, my name is Danilo Petrovic. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kuda. I'm Evgeny Donskoy. I'm Henry Laksan. I'm Peter Turepko and you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Welcome back, tennis fans. Here we go. Rublev versus Chilich. This one is going to prove to be a good one. They've already kicked off. Uh, how are you doing this morning, JG? Yeah, fresh and ready to go. Of course, wasn't able to make yesterday's stream. I thought Zach did a great job from the bits I've watched of it. I didn't watch it in full. Um, but yeah, looking forward to this one. This is a big bracket decider for me and you. I've gone big on Marin Chilich. I know yourself gone big on Andre Rublev. So... Really, I need the the Croatian to do something big here and uh, hopefully beat Rublev. Looking at the odds and looking at the head-to-head, -head, it doesn't bode well, I must admit. you got Chilich just over freeze. Uh, Rublev is a heavy favourite. I think they've played, is it five times before? And yeah, I think one's a Pretty much Chilich has always, always lost. So yeah, He's lost the last five, I think. Yeah, so things aren't looking good if you look at all of the previous meetings. But one thing I would say here, um, Chilich has started well and he has been playing well recently. I was having a little look through uh, some of his recent matches and I've been pretty impressed by him, if I'm honest. Yeah. Uh, beat Tommy Paul in Adelaide. I thought that was a pretty good result. Only losing to Kokanakis, the eventual champion of that one. Yep. Um, and yeah, I'd, I've been I've been impressed enough by him to suggest that we're going to be seeing a closer match maybe than in the past. And I'll be surprised if Rublev is to do him in, say, straight sets. Well, I think the one thing that you're missing out of uh, that little uh, part of deciding who's going to win in this one is they've never met in a Grand Slam before. And this is over five sets. Chilich is a Grand Slam champion. Andre Rublev has looked great on the tour, but on, when it comes to Grand Slams, doesn't really uh, get past the quarterfinal stage. And 
He, will he be even be able to get past Marin Cilic here today? We're going to find out how what level is he at now. Yeah, but I remember the US Open. Obviously, the last slam we saw before this one, he went out in the third round there to TFO. Exactly. He does seem to bottle it every now and then in a grand slam. He's not proven that he can do it in best of five yet. Cilic, on the other hand, has. So, yep. listen, I'm actually looking forward to this one. I'm sure Davor is in the chat. I want to give a shout out to him. This is his special match and Cilic is his favourite guy. So, hopefully he can do it for him. Yeah, let's wait and see. Uh, is this the last Croatian left in? I think um, it probably is. Yeah, Martic is out. Yeah. I'm trying to think how, how many other Croatians we've Gojo. Had. Never yeah, made it. I think he was playing again. Well, he was playing. Uh, who was he playing the other day? Wasn't it Dr Draper? He was playing, wasn't it? Um. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think he beat him. A, yeah, I think so as well. Tough competitor though, old Gojo. Did well in the ATP Cup, didn't he? Yeah, he did do well. Yeah. Oh, Cup, I think it was. Was it not Davis Cup? Oh, apologies. I might have got them wrong around the wrong way. It was last year. Oh, okay. It wasn't the beginning of this year. Apologies. So I'll get those two. They, they were so close together. It's easy to blend them into one. Right. Chilich with a great winner off his backhand side on the last point, but then fires it long. I think yeah. we're going to be having a few quick games in this one, if I'm perfectly honest. Yeah, could be. Could be the case. Last Croatian in the singles. There you go. So still some Croatians going to doubles. Interesting to see Kyrgios, is it Metic, Pavic? No, they're out. Oh, they're Kyrgios, out. Oh, they're Kyrgios, Kyrgios and Kokonakis knocked them yeah. out. Okay. How mad is that? Yeah, I do. I do know that. So that's pretty mad, though. Now yeah. they're favourites to win their next match. How crazy is that? And they're up against Bihar and Escobar. I like that. Got like a rhyming doubles pair in there. Bihar and Escobar. Oh, is this Gene's prediction for this match? <laughs> Go on, I'll let you read it. Seven six four six six three five seven six two. <laughs> Not sure who two though. If that's is that right, Chilich? that would be mad. If you got that exact score right, listen, I'm I'm calling it now. I think um, they, we're not going to see a free set match. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it's built no. for a free set match. This one, no, I'd be definitely. surprised if we get it. I'm going to have to probably predict maybe a five-setter myself or a four-setter. I'm going to go Rublev in four. Um, I'll go Chilich in four then. All right. I thought it's... Uh, I, apparently, I got one prediction right, which was good. Overnight, Taylor Fritz one in five against RBA. Yeah, disappointing. I wanted uh, RBA. Uh, Chilich finally gets into the second week of a slam. Taking him so many attempts. I don't know if I I did share you a tweet earlier. I don't know if you've read I, it. I may I have another a chance. I've literally been on the stream. <laughs> um, let's see if I can find it. It's quite interesting. So here we go. Right. Taylor Fritz record round three record in majors prior to obviously today. He lost a team in four U.S. Open. Lost to Federer in three Australian Open. Lost a team in four Australian Open. Shapo in five U.S. Open. Lost to Sonego, Roland Garros in three. Lost to Djokovic in five, Australian Open. Lost to uh, Zverev in four, Wimbledon. And finally, <laughs> eighth time lucky for him, beats RBA in five. It was never going to be straightforward, but he finally has got through past the first third mm. round in a major. That list is horrible. I mean, the only ones on there, I'd say they're probably like really winnable matches at RBA and Chapo. Like they're out of all Snago? the others, yeah, maybe, but Snego at the French is real tough. Like, I think that on clay, Snego, you know how good he can be. Fritz, not really a clay quarter, right? Chilich 30 all right now. Great serve there, though. That one's not coming back. Oh, look, we got some Chilich in threes coming in. Oh, Kaz, going with Chilich. I think we got Listen, I'm here Chilich for the Chilich four. fans. Seems like there's more of them as well, which I'm happy Oh, yeah. About. We got Luke there. Seems that Luke's just back in what I'm saying, I think. So cheers, Luke. Did he do that in the last stream as well? I think so. He's back, always back in what I'm saying. Uh, hopefully, he didn't have scat off going too far in your bracket. That's all <laughs> I can say. Aced for Chilich down the tee. Hold your serve. 2-1. And we do have a special button for Chilich. Not sure if everyone's seen it. I know we've got a lot of new faces in the live chat. 
Let us know if you've ever seen the Chilich button before. It's certainly a memorable one. Most people are in just for the Chilich button, I think, from what I was hearing in the last stream. Yeah, but I don't feel like the people in here right now necessarily know it. Maybe they don't. Maybe there's some new members that are just waiting to see that Chilich button. That was weird. I've got both matches on at the same time. We've got Alex de Menor and Andre Rublev, and they focus in both of them, and they're both on the changeover at the exact same time, and then they both are sitting at the exact same thing, and they both lifted and drank, drank water at exactly the same time. On the th It was like a very weird coincidence. Literally identical screen. Very go, look, Gene saying he's never heard it. Never heard the Chilich ah, button. Oh, don't Snell play saying, that yes, game with me. Seen unforgettable. Uh, I can't, can't unsee it. Terry's never seen it as well. Ah, look at that. Here's, Listen, here's I don't your think there's thing. many who've seen it, so I'm excited to play it. Nice. And look at Luke using those uh, new emojis only for members. Here's your King Ben uh, with the Ben emoji. It's not King it. Ben. Here's your crown, Ben. Ah, I'm a King Ben. How here's your crown, Ben. I'm not good at these emojis, am I? Let's just let's just have it. Let's just have, what was the other one that we did terribly? I can't remember the name. Because sleeping. it's like a me this the meme of like girls. Oh, here's your here's your um I oh, forget it now. Tiara? No, it's like <laughs> I think it might be here's your crown. What? I forget, I but mate, it's one of them kind of vibes. Do you know what I mean? Like it could mate, be a TikTok thing. I'm That's not. That's why you're not you're not there. No, or like I'm a Twitter not. or an it's what? some what was the other one? It was uh, good, happy policeman and sad policeman. <laughs> <What? laughs> I can't remember what it was. Angel policeman and devil. I think it's, you dropped your. Oh, you dropped your. Uh, you dropped your crown, queen. Is that a thing? Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I'm not down with the kids. Yeah, neither am I, to be fair, because I'm embarrassing myself <laughs> thinking about it. But I do know it, so I'm a bit further advanced yeah. than you. For you, it just you read that as King Ben, which is even more maybe worrying. That's, maybe, maybe that's just what I would like. <laughs> I want to be known. As, like, we have King Kyrgios. Why not King Ben? <laughs> Luke, they're saying, sounding really old. Uh, and we've got <laughs> Grandpa Ben from the Dinosaur <laughs> Age. Yeah, That's me. In, during the war, <laughs> I might be Zach called you uh, Dino Ben, or did he not? People were calling Was Zach he too nice. JG's dad, apparently. <laughs> like what? JG's JG's <laughs> <JG's, JG's> dad <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> he was getting a little bit of stick here and there, but all in good, uh, good fun. Uh, he was giving you a bit of stick as well, Zach. Uh, you have to go back and watch it. It was quite funny. I was like, it's like when uh, JG's away. Zach comes in and uh, the Djokovic fan, Ken Lee, came in for a bit as well. Oh, it's a break. Look who's here right now. I'll tell you who is in. Marin Tillich, as he has an early break, he leads 3-1. Come on, let's go. And it might be early in the morning, uh, but it's never too early for a bit of Marin Tillich. Feed the bridge. Ain't a snitch, make you my bitch. Marin Chillich, feed the bridge. Ain't a snitch, make you my bitch. I'm Marin Chillich, got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chillich, got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chillich. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Uh, never get <laughs> it's just that that face on the second to last picture where he's like <laughs> looking in disgust at whatever it was. <laughs> Funny. Gotta love the chillage button. Oh that one will get you uh, out of bed, I'm sure. Marin Why Chilich. Is the Federer and Djokovic button in there? Oh, that was uh someone I think someone sent the tips in last night on the uh, Zach stream and requested what, it. Uh yeah. It was for, oh, it was Jamie wanted it, just saying, as we didn't have Federer and Djokovic at the event, one of okay. those ones. So cool. we obliged. Sounds good. You've got Genus. <laughs> I love the button. Lots of swearing. <laughs> My kind of jam. <laughs> well, yeah, we should have a little parental advisory uh, warning before it starts. Well, it technically isn't swearing if you're thinking of it as a female dog is known as one of those. So it's not really. It is the English language, and uh, I don't think we can criticize that. It's not using any Fs or Ss or C words. So it was difficult to rhyme with Chilich, and I feel like it just kind of works. So, yeah. 
He's got the itch to put you in the ditch. Okay. Is he, he going to put Rublev in the ditch? That's what we want to know. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. Azarenka's is better. <laughs> oh, that I, think, my... I think they're saying you've dropped your crown, sis. Sis? Oh, okay. Doesn't sound like anything I've ever heard before in my life. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Here I'm we sure go. That... He's flying right no. now. My man's flying. Maybe I should have just said straight sets. I'm surprised. Listen, I think Chilic is going to do it. Uh, I'll take four, though. That'll be a good one. He's and playing you're... really well right now. Are you a betting man? 3.5 Chilich coming into this match. I think really? that's good odds. Yeah, I think it's madness. 3.5. I know. Probably evens, I reckon. Let's have a look. Nah. Don't know. It's not updated. Yeah, it is. How is it? It's not updated on my... 2.2. Still good. <laughs> I think 3.5 is a steal, though, for Chilich in this match. I didn't know it was that crazy. I must admit... There you go. Consolidation for Marin Cilic. Just like that. Yeah, the perfect start for him. As Very. Luke says, what a forehand. He's serving well, yeah. finding his forehands. Um, he's not even found enough first serves for my liking. Nine out of 16, which... Is even more of a worry because if you're not finding many first serves and you find yourself down 4 1 already after 15 minutes, then Rublev needs to watch out. I think it's encouraging signs from Marin Cilic as well. Obviously, before the pandemic, he was just around 40 in the world. Um, 2020 finished the end of the year 42nd, end of last year, moving up into 30. Now he's cracked the top 30 again. Uh, 27th seed in the tournament. He looks like he's just getting better again, Marin Cilic. Is this a... Yeah, he's having a second it? lease of life. How old is Cilic now? Uh, 32, I believe. Yeah, it's 33. Time. 33. Yeah, he's got still got a few years. Another 10 years. <laughs> Playing like that. He's getting better. If he's getting better every year, surely in three years' time, he'll be world number one. Well, you know what happened with Karlovic? He was able to play for ages. Well, he's got... Well, these big serve. servers can. Yeah. You've got a bit longer, I feel, if you've got a good serve. And uh, we've got Ken Lee in. How are we doing, Ken? Saying, hey, hey, JG. Zach was good. Ben was his usual vampire self. <laughs> oh, I know. He was <laughs> sucking the blood out of you, was he, Ken? He wasn't happy. There was a few. I don't even think we touched. We touched on Rafa maybe once, but that was enough for Ken Lee to enter and uh, give me some stick. So good on you, Ken. JG's back. Oh, broken string already. We're only in the first. Well, we only played five games. Yeah, someone didn't string that one, right? Or that, or he just crushes the ball so hard that he's just got through a racket already. Yeah, it's unusual you see a player break a string so early on. It's only been 15 minutes, so... Yeah. Well, maybe with this new racket, it could be even better. Alex de Menor going to be serving out for the match in the next game. He is 5-2 up in the oh, third. Oh, huge winner. Let's Massive. go, Chilich. He's playing so well right now. And you know what, Looks Ben? Nobody's yeah. talking about Marin Chilich to win the whole thing. Maybe well, they, they should now. be. They Maybe are now. they should be. Am I getting too carried away here with Marin Chilich? He's a Grand Slam champion, JG. That's the one thing. No one's talking about the Grand Slam champion who's in the draw. Everyone's talking about Rafael Nadal or Daniel Medvedev. Oh, can Zverev win his first one? That's Chilich. He's already got a US Open title. Why not an Australian Open to go with it? If you're being honest, it's his best chance right now. There's no Djokovic, no Federer. Yeah. The people have been beating him all these years. They're not there. Exactly. It's, it seems like... Uh, and the win. Who would he play if he that goes through? was mad. It Felix. definitely got me a bit overly gassed. Felix is the uh, person waiting. He obviously knocked out Dan Evans in straight sets very comfortably. Impressive, actually, yeah. yeah Good so serve he, from Rublev. Just to Felix not a double not up the, the uh, score. Yeah, Felix, not an easy matchup, but it's still beatable, I think. Snellson, I agree with JG. I think he can travel Medvedev. All right, mate. S steady on. He Listen, I, you I mean, I'm, the, I'm here for it as well. Medvedev, do you see I what he, he to... can, It's going to be tough to, for anyone to stop Medvedev, but listen, Chilich could do something. I like the fact that Medvedev made the adjustments, plays Botic, Van der Zanschlup this time. 
no sets dropped, straight sets. Apparently, Gene was saying every time uh, Botic came to the net, he was just getting passed every time. It was yeah, a dominant performance from Daniel this time, even though that Botic played really well. Apparently, he's got like, crushing the ball. And he's playing Crezzy next. What do you reckon on that? Crezzy, is he, how many times will Crezzy get past? Or do you reckon the serve volley will uh, catch Medvedev out? Mate, I'm going to be entirely honest. It's the weirdest matchup I've ever heard of. <laughs> Crezzy Medvedev. It's just oh. going to be so much, just contrasting styles. I don't think we've ever seen a match like it. A Daniel Medvedev versus Crezzy. I feel like it's one you need to watch as well. I just don't know how it's going to work. Interesting, isn't it? I think it's got. Uh, I don't an... understand how Crezzy's going to get. I don't know. Maybe it'll work against him. Maybe maybe Medvedev cannot deal with Crezzy. There's part of me that thinks... Is Crezzy going to win straight sets? <laughs> Medvedev I... just can't handle it at all. There's part of me that thinks... I don't know. People will come to the net against Medvedev at your own peril. I think there's going to be passing shot after passing shot. If he doesn't come in on good serves, it's going to be good wizard. Test. I think it's going to be a good test. Oh, yeah. I love the test because it's a very different challenge. Something he's not used to. Yeah. No one's used to him. <laughs> yeah, someone charging the net every single point. It's just, it can become predictable, though. That's the only thing that I worry about for Crezzy, especially against the big players. How did Eager play earlier? My one winner. It wasn't, it, it was just she won, but it wasn't anything to write home about that performance. She just did enough and won in straight sets. She didn't sets, play so. that well. Nah, a lot of unforced errors. I think she had about 19 winners, about 35 unforced errors. It wasn't. No, it wasn't okay. great, but she didn't need to be great. Her opponent mm -hmm. didn't really give up much of a fight. It's not quite Ashley Barty at the moment, is she? Nah, I've seen but... the bookies have got her. As, I don't know if you've seen it since Osaka's gone out. No. But they've put her as a, <laughs> a huge favourite. Really? That's yeah. A... Well, I was staying on the stream last night. How funny is it? I said, this was before Sabalenka played again. I said, isn't it going to be weird if she wins, keeps winning in three sets, just gradually just moving through bad match after bad yeah. match. She come out um, the other day, well, after the last match, with only, I think, 10 unforced errors, uh, yeah. no, 10 double faults. Yep. And she was like, oh, I'm thrilled with that. That was, yeah, last, or last night. Last night, 10, yeah. 10 double faults. It's the Getting best better. in a few months. <laughs> That's what I mean. And now, what, next one, was it, five? Once if she, by the time she gets to the semis, she's not even hitting zero any. double faults. And they, they're all turning into aces. Imagine that. So instead of twenty five double faults, she's oh, got twenty five. Can she win the whole thing then? She point. can. I think she can. That's the thing. If she gets to that level, yes. It's a bit mad, isn't it? I oh thought... no! Terrible backhand internet. We do have breakpoint. Rublev. Come How on, many man. People Keep the consistency her? up. How many people picked her? One percent, wasn't it? You said in the. I thought you said in the tennis app. Sabalenka. Who? Sabalenka, yeah. 1%. It's mad, isn't it? Like, and imagine, <laughs> if you're that 1% person, you're like, come well, on. That's why it is worth <laughs> taking a risk sometimes on a good player who's not in good form. Yeah, I've always said that. On the bracket, if you want to try and win the bracket, it's brave to do that. You're not going to win the bracket with Barty. And no offence, it's it's just yeah. unlikely because there's 55% of people with it and you've got to get all the other picks right. It's and there'll shit, be someone true. who just does better than you. There always is. Yeah, there always, especially me. Oh, what a shot oh, down the line. No. Rublev gives a big roar and he has broken back. Come on. Incredible point. With a very different style of button, this one. Um, oh, this one Andre Rublev. Go on, Here back go. In. And Bruno, he knows he knows the lyrics. <laughs> he was singing the lyrics before it come up. Hitting the lines, giving the signs. Andre, Andre Rublev. Rublev. <laughs> <laughs> I like those ones when we've got that like little voice in the middle doing that. There's a few. I think Garen's the same as or similar with that one. Christian Garen. <laughs> I know. There's a Garen one. Yeah, there is a Garen one. We, does, no, we, we never cover Garen like that often, so obviously not doing it this tournament either. He's out. Kekmanovic doesn't have a button either, but I don't know if we'll get to cover that either. Do you send the, the uh, times for all of the other matches, mate? Uh, we're going to be put through the ringer, it looks like, in tomorrow's matches. 
Rafa at 3 a.m. Brilliant. Uh, cheers for that, for uh, the organizers. And we got Badoza Keys at midnight, Rafa at 3, and then we've got Buster Bellatini in the morning, Barty and Isimova also. All, all, everything's on Rod Laver, all the matches that we'd want to cover as well. So it's one after the other. The only one that we could probably miss is probably Klaichika Varazarenka, and that's still quite good. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to do the 3 a.m. one. We might. That's what we were saying. There was a lot of jokes going in the last stream. People going, who's going to be the true Rafa fan, Ben or JG? Mate, <laughs> it's, like... it's one of them I might watch, but I can't stream it. Ace there for Rublev, 40 what? love. Going for the game to love consolidation. I, there's part of me that thinks that many people will just assume Rafa's going through in that one and might not even bother tuning in. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't think it. Yeah, it's not a big pull for me that match. I'm not. I'm pretty confident in Rafa's ability. You got to remember they've put him on in the sort of the the, the morning session. Is it? Is the morning session uh, or the afternoon? The afternoon. daytime session. He's not in the evening slot. His four hands are going to be popping around the court for a start. He's given. Rafa more rest for his next match and Manorino less rest after his marathon match from Karatsev. He's got yeah. even less time to recover. I think Manorino is going to walk, he's probably going to be wheeled on the court, if I'm honest. <laughs> well, what a return from Chilich! Oh my god, see how fast that came back at Rublev. Yeah, I've, there's some other news which is coming out as well. Bad weather on the horizon for Australia oh, coming no. tomorrow. Uh, and we could be playing indoors for the for the tomorrow's matches, I think. Oh, is that in? Uh, no, no, it isn't. Long. It is just long. Rublev wasn't sure. He was on the stretch, uh, but he does consolidate the break and we're back on serve for all and the business ends. <laughs> We got Boz knock in saying, I played the Muguruza song for my girl and she gave me that look. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Boz not getting lucky there after playing the Muguruza button. We love to see it. We're always trying to help people out. Yeah. Help out the GTL fans. Why not? Hopefully there was a few people dancing to the Collins button. Troy was a, uh, there was the run in theme in last night's stream that Troy had his house resting on Daniel Collins winning and she came back from a set and a break down to win the whole match after her button was pressed. It was when she was a breakdown yeah, in that, that second. Yeah, a bit mad. Bit weird. And it I'll be really honest, a... I'm a bit disappointed. I really wanted Towson to win. Same. She's someone I've been following for so long and it's like, it, this is just, it's just great that the mainstream media now know who she is. I yeah. feel like before this event, maybe they didn't. And I think she just needed to, for me, people know who she is but they don't fully know. And if she was to go for a few more rounds, like Alcaraz did, sort of US Open, that's yep. like the real coming out party. I think she just she just fell a little bit short. There's going to be a lot of people now know, like sort of the the intermediate tennis fans. But I wanted some more like basic tennis fans to now know who she yeah. is. And I'm not sure if they have yet because she needed a few more rounds, unfortunately. But she played great. She's going she to be did. there next year for sure and the year after. And hopefully she can do something special this year. I would like to see her get to like a semi-final or something. She's more than capable. Yeah, she definitely is. I I was really hoping that she'd go a little bit further. Maybe like one round or two yeah, rounds. Yeah, just one or two more rounds. Yeah. It was a bit disappointing. She would be. She would have like been quarters, facing even. I think quarters would have been great. Elise Mertens would have been waiting for it. It's now Collins versus Mertens. And then potentially Halep oh. or Cornet. Brilliant Chilich serve, Volley. Well. And that is... The perfect uh, game service love. game from him. I watched a lot of them serves and they were just faultless. Uh, and he gets the game to love and holds his serve. Yeah, Meg's Carpentry wasn't able to join us for the one last night. She was saying there, oh, uh, I watched the stream after the facts. Loved hearing the Towson button. Yeah. JG, me as well. Dear Towson, just a little bit short. She still is a yeah. champion, though. Yeah, she Agreed. definitely is. I mean, she's got all of the attributes. She just, I don't know what happened. It seemed like her intensity just went down a little bit. And 
Collins just took advantage. Or the button just killed her off. That was that's what I personally think. Shelby Rogers, it happened to her at the against Ash Barty at the US Open. I think that Daniel Collins had some button magic on her side last night. Yeah, we're talking about Clara Taus and Coco. Coco uh, Golf. Ali Dad's asking for any betting tips. Well, in this match, not sure. Both players take a set. I think it's a safe one. I think Chilich to one. win the match, for me, is a good one as well. How about one after this match? Sir Steyer to beat Pavlyuchenkova? Yeah, 2. I 5? think so. Yeah. That's, a, that's a nice one. Your dark horse is... I think I do have her. I think, is that, if my, that is my dark horse, isn't yep. it? Yep, yep. Doing well, actually. I know, mate. You've done some good picks in this tournament. I'll give you credit for that. Well, I don't know. Not yet. No, but Tara Daniel, mate. He did so well against Sinner as well. And that, he looks very good. He obviously knocked out Murray in straight sets. Yeah, that was that only was... a qualifier to watch, so. Yeah, but still a good person to. Yeah, it's not a bad. I had him. It could have been worse. And plus, you've been, been chatting. You've been chatting to him. So that's what makes it even better. Yeah, true. Maybe I'll be able to get yeah, him on yeah. the pod. Yeah, listen, I was thinking just that. It'll be great to get Tara Daniel on the podcast after this amazing run at the Australian Open. It'll be amazing anyway, because I think he is an awesome player. Uh, and I'd love to now talk about the Australian Open to him, especially what he did to Murray. Well, oh, exactly. I mean, not many people can say that. I mean, it's not vintage Murray, but it's still Murray who knocked out Basashvili. Yeah. I forget who my dark horse was for the men's. Any no, idea? I can't, I can't remember either. Oh, another big, powerful forehand. He's cracking them. He's absolutely cracking them right now. Is it Chilich? Yeah, Chilich. <laughs> Any, <laughs> listen, that's what I said, right? No, he's a seed. It wouldn't have been him. We no, no, I didn't, say, I didn't say seed. I was just talking about, I thought you were talking about what I just said. No, sorry. You thought I was trying to think of your no. dark horse. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, it's into the net. And it feels like any second serve at the moment from Rublev, he's thundering back. And listen, I've just looked at the thing now. 17%. Oof. He's not winning second serves, Rublev. He needs to find his first serve at all costs because Chilich. I honestly, I'm going to put this. I'm going to say something brave now and bold on the on the podcast. I don't think there's many players on tour who hit a better second serve return than Marin Chilich. If there's any weak return, he is the best at generating power off a ball with no power. That's my nice. statement. Well, we're going to have to see. We're into the rally now. Can Rublev turn the screw a little bit here? Oh, he does. He oh, big one. Come on, just give me a second serve and I'll show you what I mean. Chilich can rip him. A bit like, um, who else was I going to say? Yannick Sinner does it as well. Oh, he's just in Sinner's backhand today. I've not seen Sinner's backhand. So formidable. It Literally, it was flying off that racket and so fast. I would love to see the speed off of his backhand today. Rapid. Oh, good serve. He got a first serve in. Such an important time. Love 30 he was. Rublev pulls it back to 40-30. Um, and Declan there saying, I think Ben's dark horse was Skatov. It wasn't actually Skatov, <laughs> was it? Greek, Greek sport. That was Greek sport. Yeah. That I don't know flop. who yours was, though. I can't think. Probably out. I'm for sure I think it was out. hard to pick um, a non-seeded player. Yeah, oh, yeah, massively. I mean, that's why we normally do it over, like, Come on. from 20. Come on. We normally do it from 20. We yeah, don't we'll normally do, do a non. Yeah, I don't know what we, we lost our heads, I think, in that. I'd have to watch my podcast back. Let me know. Maybe Gene knows. Does anyone know in the live chat who I picked as my dark horse? I can't remember, literally. I'm looking down the list now and Oscar Otte, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I literally no clue. Advantage. Yeah, it could, be, it could have been anyone, mate. Anyway, advantage Rublev trying to get... He seems to be struggling on his serve a lot more than Marilyn Cilic is. We've got Ali Dad saying, OK, boys, let's make a deal and make it interesting. Uh, Cilic wins, you get £50 pounds or €50. Euro. Sounds like a great deal to me. What I do like we have that. to do? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Six there you go. down to the ground. Make sure it's on the PayPal as well and it's even more of a deal. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Appreciate that, that as well. That was I am chilli uh, chilling on. I'm chilling on Chilich. No, I'm uh, cheering on Rublev. I've got Chilich on the brain. Oh, I think I it is. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I think wow, I did okay. smash it. <laughs> wow. See, there you go. You just so had, had it. Yeah. Crazy and Sir Steyer as my dark horses. It's decent dark horses, man. Lewis United. <laughs> Cheers, Lewis. 
Bjorn confirming, yeah, Griekspor lost in five to Kolenio Busta. I don't think there's any shame in that, to be honest. I think Busta's playing well. Knocked out Corder in four. So he did better than Corder. And now he's going to play Berrettini. I think Busta could knock out Berrettini. I'm putting that out there now. Yeah, I saw someone saying that on uh, the Silk Report yesterday. And John just sussed them down. He was like, no. <laughs> I think it's possible. I know that John, yeah, no, was... John was not having any of it. He was John's... not accepting it at all. Yeah, his narrative was more anti Buster, I feel, on that, on that one after the bag throwing incident from his uh, last outburst at the uh, Australian Open. How are we doing, Nina? Thanks for joining. Long hey. time no see. Nina. Chilich looking so good on his serve. Rublev's best chance probably going to come in a tie break. Yeah. I think Chilich deserves his first set. You have to agree. He's better, yeah. He's played better. A lot more clinical. Serving, look, it's 40 love again. How many points has he dropped on his serve? Be interesting to see that. And oh, that's a big thanks to Meg's carpentry oh, there. Oh, wow. Thank wow, you Wow, really so much. appreciate that, Meg. Absolute legend as always. Going top of the top tippers, I think, as well. Yeah. Um, saying hey Benny, J Jill, J G, <laughs> Silky <laughs> <Jill>. Milky. <laughs> uh. It's because I was sitting reading the next bit, so I'm going to read it again because I need to do this justice. <laughs> hey Benny, J G, Silky Milky. This donation is for your hard work, fun commentary for the hard tired Clara Towson button, so that Coco has an idea of who we are talking about. Uh, keeping the faith on our. Clara Towson. Oh, she wants to sing it now. Clara Towson. Clara Towson. So top of the top tip board, finally. Yeah, you deserve it, Meg. Uh, absolute legend. Someone who's always yeah. in a lot of our streams. We know you love Clara Towson. And we will be giving you the button for that generous tip as well. As soon as we know if Chilich can hold his serve. He is 40-15. Yeah. Let's see how this one goes. But we will be giving the Clara Towson button very soon. Most definitely. And Ali Dad saying, let's go chill it, make it rain. <laughs> make it rain. There you go, you're up there. Top of the top tippers, Meg's Carpentry. Go on. Yeah, we will oh, be giving big prizes one. for the top there we of go. the top tippers. He has done it. One sec, Ben. Let's get the Clara Towson button out. Um, just got to find it. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> There's a lot in there. Press it if you want to. All right, I'll find it. It's fine. I know what the picture looks like better, probably. Hopefully, I haven't removed it because she went out. I might have done. Yeah, it's not in there at the moment, so we will oh, get that into in for you soon. For that. I've got, I've got the thing plugged in. Don't worry, that will come oh, in. Nice. I thought it was in there. I'm obviously being far too diligent and taking things because they're getting a bit overcrowded in there. I'm a bit worried. But as you're saying. um, yeah, we are going to be running a competition just for the Australian Open. Uh, we've not announced the top tip tipper for prior, sort of the events in Melbourne, Adelaide, Sydney, all of the Australian events. We're grouping them together and we're going to have one winner. We'll announce that very soon. Apologies, I've not had time to do that. We're then going to have a winner for the Australian Open as well. That is how we're doing the top tippers this year. So come the end of the year awards, um, it's going to be done on a tournament by tournament basis uh, where, where some of the smaller tournaments we're going to group together. Yeah, here you go, Meg. Just for you. It's Clara Towson, Clara Towson. Give it up from the girl from Copenhagen, the girl who's pretty awesome. It's Clara Towson, it's Clara Towson. All right, yeah, go. Bob and there just confirming. I picked yep. Crazy, Ben picked Talon. Perfect. Makes me yeah. feel even better about myself. And shout out to Gene as well, saying he's got a phone interview from the university. They're considering Ooh. his application. Hopefully nice. the best good outcome. Luck. Well, congrats uh, and good luck with that, Gene. Wishing you well. Big, big time here in this match for Andre Rublev. It's love 15 and still bad on that second serve percentage. Gets the first serve in here. It's a good return still on the first serve. Now, nice backhands from Cilic. He's into the net from Rublev. And he comes again. He's coming again. Love 30 for the second time in the row, on a row on the Rublev serve. This time, can he break? He's only two points away. We have to wait and see. Meg there just saying, Ooh. woo. She enjoyed that one. <laughs> 
Yeah, there was part of me that I was enjoying the Daniel because I was having so many beers last night. It was the the Daniel Collins one it was a real party anthem, and it was really getting me going. And I was sort of forgetting how I, my, who I support due to it. It was crazy. It's into the oh, net. I can do that to you. Oh, big fit, big hitting. That's the problem. I feel like the the rally exchanges are are going to suit Rublev, especially forehand to forehand. Um, <laughs> Chilich for me needs to play on the front foot, needs to be attacking, come to the net when he can as well. Yes. Guys, if you haven't already, hit the like on this video. We're only up to 50 so far. Let's try and get that up to 100 as soon as possible. Subscribe if you're new. Oh, another big winner. Yeah. 30 all. And I just want to end the poll as well. We've got Rublev. He did win it 54%. Oh, wow. Close, very close. Oh, extremely close. And yet again, they've done it. They've gone close to the tennis we live win predictor. Last the GTL night... fans know exactly how this one's going to go, I feel. Because we've Last got 57 the on the tennis win predictor. Yeah, and they've said 54. I know. They're very good at picking. Last night, I've never seen it before. In the pre-match, it just said... Oh, oh, he's I've... done it again. Wow. He just rips them. That's what I'm saying. Can you see what I mean? There's not many yeah. better than him on a ball with no pace. He yeah. can generate all the pace, and we do have set point here. 40 minutes played. Flat hitting as well from Marin Cilic. Yep. It's so Very hard. Flat. Yeah, on that win predictor last night before the Towson match started, it just said toss up. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. I've never not seen that. There it's it is. Long. He's got long. Marin Cilic takes the first set, 7-5. There's a lot of Croatians there in Australia. Yeah. And they're enjoying that one just as much as me. Let's go, Marin Cilic. Be the rich, ain't a snitch, make you my bitch, Marin Chillich. Be the rich, ain't a snitch, make you my bitch, I'm Marin Chillich. I got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chillich. I got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chillich. <laughs> Not to not commend sure myself. Like that one. Not to commend myself, but that's the pictures I picked for it, I think, make it uh, add to the uh, comedy of that button for some reason. Just like his angry face so many times and the, then lying on the floor when he's in the ditch. <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh, well, well done. Wow, that was badass. <laughs> oh, it does crack me up every time I hear it. I even sometimes just send it to you. Uh, on whatsapp just to uh just for a laugh because i know it'll make you laugh if you just play it not knowing what Sometimes it is Sometimes play it in the back room as well before we go live if it's there just for a bit of a warm-up <laughs> along with the djokovic trial intro <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was it rolls? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be on the first plane home <laughs> So oh. they are kicking off right now against Pavlyuchenkova. <laughs> Maybe if you if you tip ten dollars, you can have the Djokovic intro played if you really want. No, we can't. It's too long. <laughs> it's too long. Don't tip Twi ten dollars, anyone. Twenty dollars. No, I'm not gonna press it. <laughs> it's too long. It is. It's like a minute and a half. You can have it. If fifty dollars, you can have it. But that's the only time. <laughs> fifty dollars for the Djokovic trial intro long. to be played. <laughs> and here we go. Meg's actually liking this one as well. Ditch, <laughs> it's ditch. ditch. <laughs> yep. Marin, Marin Cilic, Cilic, dark and spooky and full of energy to win at no matter what cost. Yeah, he'll put you in the ditch. Here he's we go, hit. second set underway. Marin Cilic, as he did break right at the death of that first set, he will be serving first here. The win predictor for me hasn't updated because surely Cilic yeah. is a bit closer. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Rude to Cilic. I'm interested to see what the uh, actual odds are now for Cilic to win. 1.72. Mm, gone to the favourite now. Maybe now's the time if you're a Rublev fan to get your money on your man, yeah. or do you not trust him? Wait for him to go two sets down, I would. And then maybe like, think about it. Do you think he could come back from two sets down? I think he still has a chance, yeah. Does Rublev have the mental resilience to do something like that? 
I think it's more about if Chilich's level stays at the high level more than the Rublev, to be honest. I think if Chilich plays this level for the throughout, he could get it done in three for sure. Yeah. But I worry about him in the in the long matches. When was the last time Chilich went to five? I'll put that out there for the live chat. And Rublev, in for that fact. Let's uh, let's get both of their last time they both went to five. Send I it can into tell the you live. if you want. Go for it, yeah. If you've got it, go for it. Um, I don't have it, but I feel like I remember an incident. That's why I say it. I remember Chilich U.S. Open last year. Cole Schreiber. It was about to go to five. It was two all, and he pulled out. Oh. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not a good memory. <laughs> Uh, but the last one I can re remember, of course, was Wimbledon last year. Medvedev Chilich, he went to five sets. Medvedev beat him in five. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's good on the grass. That's what I'm saying. So Chilich could, he could do something special Ugh, against Medvedev, shank. maybe. This could be his year. Watch shank. out. Shankipus. Yeah! And Rublev's one. You remember that one as well, Ben? It was against TFO when he went to five and lost in five to TFO, US Open. The last Grand Slam. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain they've both been to five fairly recently. I just couldn't remember who they played. Yeah, that's why I wanted to bring it up because I do remember them both going to five recently. So the, I couldn't so remember both, what the match was. Both lost the last five set match yeah. then. Marin Cilic didn't lose, retired. Oh, Great forehand from Chilich there. Well, Chilich just seems like he's been on tour forever, doesn't it? <laughs> There's part of me that still feels like he's Mario uh, Ancic still playing from the. That's, it's the way their their careers crossed over. They look quite similar. Both six foot six. Both Croatian. Both massive serving. It, it's very weird. They're just both like the, itch. Yeah, they're both similar players. Both top players as well. If he was still playing, would you do the same button for him? <laughs> no, maybe I'd have a, a similar. Maybe they'd have a similar. A similar. That maybe it would still a work if you wanted it to. Maybe that would just be the Croatian style, just aggressive, like <laughs> fast-paced. Oh, oh there that? we go, Rublev. Oh, he needs to be. Been... Surely there needs to be some kind of point penalty for that. Wouldn't have been funny if it came. Listen, back that is a bit reckless of him. I'm going to call it out there. That is a bit. I know he's losing his head right now. He's shouting a lot after losing that first set. He's got the ball and smashed it against the backboard, and it bounced. It could have bounced anywhere. Well, it would have been. Wouldn't it have been? What about if it missed the backboard and hit someone in the crowd? Then he's he's out. Well, I'm going for a more of a comedy uh, approach. Imagine if he smashed it so hard against the backboard, it came back and hit him in the balls. <laughs> And then he ends up like rolling well, around. Say it's kind of deserved. <laughs> That's what I mean. Because it? it came back so quick, it nearly hit him in the leg. Could have gone somewhere else. That would have been instant karma. Then it would have been a meme forever. Oh, Chilich. What do you reckon if you were Andre Rublev right now, what tactics do you employ to try and get back into this match? Because he looks very um... disturbed out there at the moment. What weaknesses do you I think spot? He needs to just keep his call mentally for a start. He needs to keep his focus. Thanks to Alexander Robert there, or oh, Alexander cheers, Robert, Alexander. Saying, one of our new patrons and members. Cheers, really appreciate the super chat saying I watch your watch alongs while I also watch the matches, and your commentary is very good and enjoying it. Yeah, we enjoy awesome. having you in. Great Feel to going. have some um, fans as well from the UK. I know we've yeah. got. It seems to be like global reach, predominantly America, probably the biggest demographic. But always good to have some British folks as well joining us. And you've earned yourself a player button as well with that uh, with that tip. Actually, two. Well, I'd say you can you can have two if you want because you're going to twenty. It's going to be over twenty dollars that one. So yeah. really appreciate that. So you take your pick. There's so many new ones in there as well. Or you might want an old one. Yeah, let us know what player button you'd like, Alexandra, and we can play it in the stream. But that is a game to love, I believe, for Rublev. A uh, good start to the second set for him. Let me just totally work out the exact total. Excuse me. Uh, we've got Kazin, I didn't realise that, from Northamptonshire, UK. Hey. Repping. Cool. 
How are you? How is your sleep patterns going, Kaz, with the uh, with the Australian Open? I know there's a few people we had Sam H in earlier saying, "Oh, this is just a nightmare." Uh, just for to stay up all night. Obviously, the we were talking about the Rafa match mainly. That's three a.m. Sam H was just saying, "This is just a nightmare. I'm just going to have to be up and, until the early hours now." We've got Bob and the Super Chat feature isn't available in Montenegro. Well, you don't have to use it. You can use the link. Um, I'll pop it in the live chat now, but the PayPal link, and we will read your comment out just the same. In fact, it helps us more. If anyone does ever want to tip to the channel, uh, the, su- the sort of off-stream tips are a lot more beneficial as YouTube do take a big portion on here. So it's entirely up to you, of course. We appreciate whatever you want to do, um, but we will read out PayPal tips just the same way. Yes, we will indeed. And you will still make yourself onto that top tip of leaderboard as well. Like Alexander's just knocked off Ken Lee. He's dropped off there. Sorry, Ken. Uh, but uh, you're Ken not will be feeling... back. Ken's going to be back for Rafa. Well, for Rafa. Yeah. Will he, uh, will he send anything in if I'm covering it? Though? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Chris Probably Mears not. in saying, hey, guys, let's have a rough prediction. Chilich, two sets up. Rublev, two all. Chilich in five. Ooh, Listen, I'm all here I like for it. That. that sounds spectacular. That's a good prediction, though. I like Chris Mears' predictions. Sounds a bit stressful, though. Very, for, especially for Tillich fans, especially, and the Russian fans as well. I think so. Sounds a bit horrible. Yeah, but I feel like if you've gone up two sets and then get brought back to five, then it's always more pressure on the one who would have was up two sets. Isn't that you know what, what happened I mean? with Berrettini Alcaraz? Exactly though? what I mean. So yeah, with yeah. Alcaraz losing that, it's like, oh, fair play, made a good match of it. If uh, Berrettini was to have lost that match, it's not the same attitude. It's like, oh, he's throwing it away. There's a lot more pressure, I feel. If you go up two sets, you have a lot more on you than if you in a fifth set, if you go to five. Yeah. Chilich just making light work of serving. If you want to s- learn how to serve... Come see Marin Cilic. He'll show you. And Alexander oh, uh, Meg there suggesting that Alex should uh, play the TFO button. That one is quite upbeat. Plus TFO is such a gentleman and entertainer on the tour. Uh, he was so kind to help Fritz up. Yeah, that was a nice little moment as well. Oh, Obviously, I Alexander like... can pick what, she want, but what he wants, but Meg is suggesting the TFO button. I do like uh, TFO. Uh, he's warmed. I've warmed to him over the past year. I think before we've been quite harsh on him. But now I just like his entertainment value on a court. And I think tennis needs players like that. I mean, you've got your pl- players like Monfils and stuff like that. We've got we've, we've lost Joe Wilfred probably uh, because he's not at the top of the game. And TFO can do it on the big stage. He can mix yeah. up with the big players. And another game to love. Oh, he said, I hope 3 2 won't happen. Uh, I really want to send you 50. Oh. Mm-hmm. What was it before? What, but... what, was, what were the uh, conditions? I've forgotten. Chilich has to win. Oh, but that's surely that will be fine then. If it's yeah, but I don't think he wants to stress a five. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. And there we go. Alexandra's in. He said, sure, I'll choose the TFO button. Do we have that no. one in? No, we haven't covered him. I can get it in as quick we'll as you like. For you. <laughs> After the two, we get to see JG's dulcet tones singing his player button. We're waiting for the second JG player button. They don't come around too often. We we were missing the button for Kasat Kina earlier, but luckily she didn't really need one. Oh, who knows? If she'd had a button, she might have knocked out uh, Eager. We'll never know. So, oh, Rublev serving anyway. 15 love. Good karate yeah. kick from him. Yeah. Showing his reaction speeds. Oh, that's class. I like that. That is really clever. He's been going out wide a lot on them serves. And he thought, you know what? I can see Chilich moving over there. I'm going (laughs) down the (laughs) tee. Chilich got completely fooled by that one. Chilich got mugged off big time there from Rublev. And I like like to see that. I like to see that. Chilich was just like, I'm taking a chance here. I'm stepping right in (laughs) on that one. Rublev's I'm not having that again. That massive flat shot coming back at me. 
Here's another second serve. Wow. That was had a lot of pace on it, that one. <laughs> I think he knows he has to do that now. He's realized from the first set, little uh, patter cake second serves going over are going to come back. Oh, look at that. Even the first serve came back quick. 40, 15, I think Rublev's uh... met his match for power. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Rublev, the serve's so important as well. When his first serve's not popping, he struggles. Yeah. There you go. It's in. Two games all. Quick succession, those games, aren't they? Yeah, Flying it's time for TFO. It. This is for you, Alexandro. I'm going to make a whole song called Francis. I'm bringing it out soon. <laughs> oh, I still die of secondhand embarrassment watching it. I can't. It's just. I love it. You know, I think it's one of my favorite. I do not ones. want to see my face on a button ever, really. And I don't know how I've been. I don't know. I didn't even. I, I say convinced into doing it. I wasn't. I was surprised. I, I was as surprised as everyone else when I saw it the first time. <laughs> I think it's. Good. I was sitting there in disbelief the first time I pressed that button. Just that like, was what's br- going on here. That was one of my uh, favorite ones I've created, though, because I had to. It, took a lot of time to auto tune you and get the video ready and it was quite a nice fun creative process it was a it was a real youtube style moment i think that that button so <laughs> oh here we go meg smiling so massive right now go jg well at least we're making <laughs> meg smile that's, that's the main it. thing you're bringing um, happiness and joy around the world with that button jg that's all you need to know well, hopefully I'm bringing some joy to Davor. Uh, I want to give him a shout out. He's been around on the channel yeah. from sort of day one. Yeah. He's been very consistent with his stance in tennis. He is a Marin Chilich fan. He will support him through every single event. I yep. respect his dedication to it yeah. and fair play. Uh, right now, he is having his moment in the sun. And I want to give Davor a shout out for it because Chilich is playing very well. And for your sake and my sake, I hope you can get the job done. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he's serving so well today, Chilich. Comes into the net. Oh, terrible volley. Maybe stick to uh, serving. Him. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Oh, Ken Lee's in. Saying, oh, my God. <laughs> he's not seen that one before. <laughs> Love it. Meg wants to know, did you, so, did you like that? TFO JG button. Come on, you must have. For, for me, it was button of the year. It didn't win button of the year, but I would have had it as button of the year. But wait and see. One second. Go on. Okay. Chilich serving. Second serve. Rublev gets it. Good depth on that one. It's long from Chilich there. See, all Rublev's got to do is make sure he gets it back in play, and then he stands a great chance of actually doing well. Guys, if you are just joining us for this matchup, please hit a like on the video. We're only up to 66. We want to get that up to 100 as soon as possible. So we can only do it with your help. And all you got to do is whack that little like button under the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we want you to join the GTL family and Rublev now. Wow. No, it wasn't. It was a better... Well, I thought he was going to do something. Then he didn't. It's ended up Marin Cilic holding comfortably in the end. There you go. I'll pop that in there. Just a little reminder into the live chat for you. So let's go around to see who we've got on the other courts because we have got uh, JG's dark horse. Is Sir Steyer is trying to break early in the other match right now against Pavlia Chenkova. It is on a juice. It is very early on. It is 2-1 to Sir Steyer so far. Was she broken at the start? No, I don't think so. I think it's just been on serve, but I'll have no, a it check. Hasn't. Oh, it's break, two, break. two breaks. Yeah. Oh, okay. So <laughs> could have been more been, wrong. Haven't been following it. Apologies. Yeah, so make it up instead. That's a good idea. Well, if you don't know. Make it up. That's the GTL uh, ethos, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> 
We're on serve. Two breaks are as good as two serves. That's what I've always said. What else have we got going on? Uh, Snehal was saying, hopefully we can cover more of TFO's matches for the button. Well, if he's in the tournament, maybe. But he's right out of here. Taylor Fritz, another good button. Hopefully we get to have that button at some point soon. He is, uh, he's got a tough match coming up, though. That one is one that I really do want to watch as well. What, Fritz yeah. Sissipas? Yeah, that's yeah, a Tony's match. talking about it now. Listen, my verdict on that, I think Fritz certainly can do it. It's just whether... It's a, I think it's a, basically, for me, it's how each player's feeling on the day physically. We know they're more than more than capable, both of them, and both playing some good stuff. Sissipas, of course, in normal times, you'd expect him to, have to, to win. But it's not in the most normal times for him. He's not playing great. Um, but he's a quality player. And I think he's going to make it an exciting match. I'm interested yeah. to see what John says on the Silk uh, report later on. I already gave my views on the last stream about that one. Uh, I'll give you a brief summary. My instant thought is I think Sisabas beats him. But I've got Fritz in my bracket and I'll be cheering him on. And we've got Dimonor versus Sinner is another one of the matches that's going uh, going to be happening. At least Dimonor will have the crowd on his side. Seems to be playing pretty well in this tournament. Yeah, Dimonor... Uh... He's not played anyone great. Sinner's going to uh, demolish him. That's the way yeah, I see it's it. it's true. I mean, look at his run. Musetti, Majlazak and Andokar couldn't get much nicer, could it, your run? He's done well theater. still to beat them players. Um, yeah. But my opinion of it is doesn't change. I think Sinner will batter him. He's another level than, than Alex Dimonor. Yeah, I think he is. I think you're right. Sinner is that good. ADM, I think I had him go in this bar, though. So I'm happy. That's good for my bracket, at least him getting to the fourth. Marin Cilic to serve again. There we go. Three all. Not quite 100 likes yet. 72, 28 to go. Hit it if you haven't yet. Second serve for Rublev to have a look at here. We're closing in on the business end of this match. Was that from you or from the stream? Like an ambulance? Yeah, it was outside. How did you hear that? Because <laughs> no, I wasn't sure where it was coming from. Yeah. You know, like when you hear it, I wasn't sure if it's here in real life, if it's where you are, if it's on this screen. Like, yeah. There's so many different places that noise could have been. I know. And I don't I, know. I'm pretty sure it's here because they go past like a 10 an hour here. It's ridiculous. Okay. I don't know what's going on. It must be on the route to a hospital or something. Gosh. Yeah. Frustrating. Nice. It was a nightmare when we had that uh, petrol station thing when they were queuing all outside oh, the, yeah. like where I live. You live near a petrol station. I remember that. Yeah. I live near a petrol station and then there was queues blocking. So I couldn't even leave, leave the house. <laughs> So well, and then, you uh, didn't have any fuel either. And then some idiot, uh, some idiot decided to just block the the road up by trying to butt into the to the queue, and then blocked an ambulance coming through. I'm like, what are you doing? Just blocking, trying to get and eat, like just skip the queue. Petrol. Yeah, <laughs> trying to skip the queue by cutting in like up the up the queue a bit, and then the ambulance couldn't get past. Like you absolute inconsiderate little toe rag is what I'll call you for now. But I've got. Stronger words in my mind. Chilich there comes to the net again, wins the point. His success rate at the net is brilliant. He's got um, some of the best volleying skills on tour as well. You've got to remember that. He's got a big serve and he can volley. I'm not big on Chilich at the net, but... Oh, I come on. He it. can do it, man. He's so good when he's there. His hands are, are just amazing. He's like a, a bigger crazy. He's been to the net. He's a more three... advanced crazy. He's been to the net three times, and he's got one, two of the points. Yeah, but he's good there, man. His volume's great. He needs to go there more often, then. I don't know, maybe, but he's never gonna. He's got such good baseline hitting. Luke saying, "What's your boy's go-to McDonald's meal?" Well, <laughs> that can vary on the time of day. If it is sort of three a.m. Um, then it can be very messy. <laughs> is that your normal it's not, one? Three, no, my, my usual McDonald's can be very late. Uh, but What's the typical the... sort of oh, sober McDonald's would co would consist of some chicken selects, yeah, uh, some mozzarella tippers, large no. fries, um, maybe a milkshake if I feel like it. Oh, no. Or no, I'll probably just have an Oasis, to be fair. 
Oh, um, exotic. Yeah, and if I'm feeling like a dessert, I'll get a McFlurry. Um, oh, and I'll how get many extra... things do you order? No, and I'll. Get... <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is the most like sickening thing. Menu. This could upset you. I'll have extra sauce. So for That's, ten, why does that upset get... me? No, because it's like it's a bit dirty. Like it's a lot oh. of chocolate. Like extra so, chocolate sauce on the McFlurry. Oh, I thought you meant like sauce with the chips and no, like no, 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 oh. more sauce on the. Well, you add, you pay for extra you chocolate. Pay sauce. for extra chocolate sauce. And this is not a regular. By the way, let me just make this for the record. Shout out Jacob. I know I've seen him in the live chat every now and then. Um, mm. This was his idea one time, and I was very against it. But the last few times I have done it because I thought it was. Listen, we had a good time laughing at it because it just looked a bit weird. Uh, and then ever since now, I've just do it for the bands. But I don't know if that's my go-to. Wow. I feel like I've just made a whole confusion. Probably I shouldn't have mentioned it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Now you're going to be in all sorts of problems when you next order. You're not going to know what to do. <laughs> my one, I don't know. I quite like it when they release like a new burger or something. And I'll always try the new thing that they've got on the menu. I like to, because it sometimes gets a bit boring, predictable, like Big Mac, Big Large Fries, three or five chicken selects. Wait, it's McDonald's. It's the same food all, all the time. Yeah, I know, but sometimes they try and change it up and like make it a little bit it's like trash. Your... I'm sorry, guys. It, yeah, it is, is trash. It's, just, <laughs> it's, it's not good. For... I, it's I, not I eat good. it so much. It's just plastic food. I don't. Well, I don't eat McDonald's. It's that addictive often. as well, and it's just it's I don't know. sugar, mate. All it is is sugar. The whole thing's sugar. Like the burgers are sugar, the salads are sugar, everything in there is just sugar. Like that's all you're eating if you're yeah, having McDonald's. It, you're having dessert. Like, it's nice though, isn't it? It's just something about it. Nah, you think it's nice. Who's that? Whose girlfriend's that? Is that Rublev's? You think it's nice. Your brain tells you that it has a happy, but actually, every time you finish eating a McDonald's, everybody feels depressed, and that's that's the fact. Oh. I'd much prefer some other type of fast food, like. I feel like McDonald's don't put any. Uh, Even there, they're still like they're still better. Wendy's. Places Have you ever had there. Wendy's? Nah, man, not been to America to be able to. I went to New York, but I didn't go and get any fast food when I was at New York. I had a dollar pizza slice on the street of New York. That was about. It. Yeah, it's good. Big slice as well. Who'd it say? Burger King. Yeah, it's not bad, Burger King. Yeah, I don't mind Burger King. I think I like like the chips. The... I think they've got the best chips out of all of them. I, I feel they have real burgers as well, rather than McDonald's. What is that? You just like smashed a load of hot, like <laughs> fl flattened into a tiny thing of like horse meat or whatever they use now <laughs> these days. That's what they were using. They got in trouble. They weren't even actual beef. They were using horse meat for a certain amount of time. Terrible. That's that's how much McDonald's want to rip you off. They don't even want to give you what you actually like paying for i don't think they were using horse meat you mate, made that it, up no i've not made it up mate it was a massive scandal that's it not mcdonald's in... you get it mixed up man that was tesco's no they had a that as well yeah they had that as well it McDonald's wasn't mcdonald's again. mate you're trying you've to convince yourself no, I'm not, to convince... You, no you've literally made that up it's not true nah, mate it's true it's, i don't believe you they would never do that mcdonald's is too much of an organization to be what, ever and... And all of the big, massive uh, corporation supermarkets aren't. Yeah, but it's easier. They've got a lot more variety. It's easier to make a, 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 <laughs> a mess up A lot of variety there. in McDonald's, yeah. There's a lot of variety. I think it was Iceland, the... wasn't it? As well. Well, it was, all, it was all of them. They were all in trouble because it's like a lasagna with beef lasagna was a horse meat lasagna. It was a terrible. What are you doing? I probably had loads of them. I don't eat those things anymore. Luckily, I don't trust anybody anymore. Yeah, anyway, business end. Uh, get that out. Wheel it out. It. I'll press it. Don't you worry. Get off this topic of uh, horse meat, please. <laughs> Meg, big saying... moments here in the match. Shh. Vegetarian in the house. Here. Apologies, Meg. I'm not trying to. Uh... Let's talk about some up. falafel because I'm a big falafel <laughs> fan. Oh, a little falafela. falafela. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I am. <laughs> He's a falafela. I just like falafel. <laughs> You're someone who follows falafels around. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely Luke's got the nail on head. Definitely more of an English breakfast guy. Yes, yes, that's much more me. And back to the match because we are the, in the business end, and it is an exciting match. This one between two Very. good players, fifteen all, four all. Chilich serving here. Big serve, and it's an ace. 
Wow. At the big moment, he finds an ace. And that it's... is his 12th ace of the match. You'll be surprised. Now, that's a lot of aces. He's doing mm. well right now on the serving front. Is it me or does Marin Cilic always wear the same top? I don't think I've seen him change this top for years now. No. Really? You've not watched him enough. No, probably not. I swear it always looks very similar. Doesn't really go to it. Maybe he's just found something he likes and he sticks with it. And I've got to uh, respect that from the from the big man. Rublev's one. It's all right. Actually, actually, I quite like it, actually. Looking at it closer. Yeah, I think it's really nice. I love the Rublev number. One of my favourite men's outfits on the this is this Australian Open swing. High praise coming soon. Uh, GTL fashion hosted by JG. Going to go through like some of the tennis outfits. New segment, maybe. Nice backhand into the Come net. On. Let's there you go. Uh, Chilich needs to keep going for these backhand to backhand rallies. They will favour him a lot more than they will Rublev. Um, not so sure on the other side, but right now. That's a massive hold for Chilich, and he's going to get the button because it's at the business end, and he's one game away. He almost broke um, Rublev this time in the first set, wasn't able to, and then did it on the next time of asking. So hopefully we can have something similar again here. Can he could break? Be the rich, ain't the snitch. Make you my bitch, Marin Chilich. Be the rich, ain't the snitch. Make you my bitch. I'm Mary Chillich, I got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Mary Chillich, I got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Mary Chillich. Yeah, my dark horse is flying on the women's. 4-2 up right now. 5-2 up, should I say. One game away from the first set. Wow. Let's go she first there. The dark horses are doing the damn thing. Great and start to the year. Well, um, won, Medvedev. <laughs> well, if he beats Medvedev, then it's going to be like the most amazing pick ever because who would he be playing after that? That's what I, I feel like it look. already is, though. I couldn't have done much better with no, the dark yeah, horses. The, yeah, you couldn't. That's like as far. I don't expect the dark horses to even go that far, to be honest, especially if it's an unseeded dark horse. That's yeah. the thing on this one. Well, we could potentially play Rublev, Chilic, or Felix if he goes past Medvedev. Steady on there. There you go. There you go. Krezi gets into the semis, maybe? The new Aslan Karatsev on tour. Serve volley becomes a thing again. Krezi brings it back. Every player starts modelling themselves on Maxime Krezi. Who knows? Sam saying, just join in now. So, JG, uh, will you stream 3 a.m.? <laughs> Sam, I'll <laughs> stream 3 a.m. If you if you join the member, the membership, I'll do the 3 a.m. match. How about that? Seems fair. Put then you can play the Rafa button. No, the emoji. I'm just sending over some money to uh, Sam now to join the membership. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Liam saying, Rublev is a fraud. Do, 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 uh, do, do. <laughs> Rublev is a fraud. Do, do, do. Is that the song? I've never heard that one no. before. It's hard to tell how it's sung, isn't it, when you're just reading it? Yeah, it must be a Singaporean song. Is it sung to? Rublev is a fraud. Da, 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 da. He is going home again. No, <laughs> works better than my one. <laughs> Snell says JG comes on the newspaper for his crazy pick. It'll be me on the front page <laughs> with a picture of my bracket going, Here he is. It's like one of those you see me on the front page of the sun. This is my dark horse. Crazy. <laughs> it's like one of those people who won a big bet or something. <laughs> <laughs> I bet him slip. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Or even better still, there's somebody out there who wins a big bet because of the crazy pick and then points to why they picked it and then they're holding their bet and slipping. There's a no, picture they win of four you. million dollars and they're like, I'm gonna give <laughs> all of these four million dollars to Jay Genius for his picks. That would be pretty big. What would you do if someone followed our tips? They won like a million dollars, say. What is the maximum? I think in the UK, the max you can make is on a bet is 250k, right? Or is it no, more? Now? You can still win. I think on Will Hill, you can win like a mil. You can win a meal. Yeah, Sam, someone so. follows our tips. They win a meal, and they're like, I want to donate half. 
to the channel. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, just change our life. I'm like, right, I'm quitting the day job and we're going to go uh, traveling just to go and cover some tennis around the world. Liam's in. Where's Zach? JG's back. Unhappy face. <laughs> well, Zach's been sacked with immediate effect. The Zach sack. Zach's got the boot. And John Silk could be following suit soon if he doesn't <laughs> the Zach... improve the Silk report. The Zach report coming. <laughs> yeah, Zach report coming soon. We're replacing it. The Silk report. He's lost his. Uh, he's lost his title, unfortunately. Yeah. Who could be next? All right, Chilich. Still, it doesn't matter what time of the set it is. He still loves to be forty love up on his serve. No, nothing changes, does it? Chilich must be annoyed by now. Misses the first serve. This is the only time he gives him a look at a second serve is normally on 40 love, which is credit to Chilich, I think. A few bugs flying around him there. We've <laughs> <laughs> got Liam playing the Silk Report turned into the Bachelor last night. <laughs> Uh, it really <laughs> it did, did. It did take a turn, I must admit. <laughs> it changed its uh, path, its trajectory. Yeah, but I enjoyed it. Uh, it was funny. It did make me laugh. Next thing, I heard that uh, I had Mugalutsa reaching out to me on Instagram, uh, asking if uh, John Silk's free uh, tonight. If you can yeah, make it so over, many tennis players reaching out to us after that Silk report. They all wanted to know. Now Silk is single. Can we have a slice? A slice of silk. <laughs> Is that the new segment? A slice of silk. <laughs> Could be. And there we go. Chilich does hold serve. And he's on track to do the same thing again. 6-5. This is the time he broke in the first set. Can he do it mm. again? One hour, 15 on the clock. Let us know in the live chat, guys. And I'm going to do a little prediction button for this one. I want to know your predictions. Uh, one sec, Ben. Just take that off. Let me just do right, this. One sec. Let me know your predictions, guys. Who is going to win this second set? It's so close right now. Nothing separating them. But who do you think can do it? And the button is... Do you know where it is? Top. It's too many. Prediction. You can press it if you can find it. Sounds like Sam stirring. Go and Go get then. the laptop out. What's get, yours? Join that membership. My What's prediction, your prediction. We're gonna go to tie break in this one. Hopefully. Tie break. Um, yeah, but no, not just that. Who's winning in tie break? You can't just say tie break. Most what? So your prediction? Oh, Rublev's gonna hold his serve. You're boring, Ben. Grow up. Give us oh, a Chilich. proper prediction. That is the. I thought that's what you wanted. Is we no, going I want tie break? Because Chilich, well, Chilich wins a tie break. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so Kaz is going Chilich to win set two. Uh, we've got Lewis going Rublev in the tie break 10 8. <laughs> Snell going for a Chilich 7 5. Tony just saying Chilich is going to win. <laughs> like, can't wait to watch a withered JG. <laughs> withered hey, there it is. <laughs> Look who's here. We've got a new member. Boom. <laughs> you just love to see it, didn't you? New members joining, new streams happening. And well, that means you're just for joining, uh, Sam. locked in JG into a 3 a.m. Uh, match. Brilliant. I stuff. didn't say how much of it I was going to do. Oh, no. Look, he's backtracking. No, on I'm it not already. backtracking. I'll do a bit of it for sure. Oh, no, I'm not doing any of it. You have to do it on your own. That's what I was going to tell you. <laughs> you are? No, I'm not doing it. I'm doing, it. I'm doing, I'm doing the, the, the one before and after. I'm going to have a sleep during the Rafa match. Oh, big winner. See you. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon saying scam. Oh, JG scamming. Uh, don't don't be that man. No, I, I didn't say I was going to do all of the rap. You're that. doing all. Sam has no, spoken. No, Our I, new I, member. No, no, I said I'll do. I'll do some rap. It's going to be an hour and a half. It'd be fine. You'd be out of there by 4.30. You stay up. You can, order, on, a you, can, you can order a McDonald's at the end. I can't. It's not a case of that. Do you sleep before? That's the key. 
Oh, it's wide from Chilich. Oh, he had the opportunity there. Oh, oh Luke's already questioned. <laughs> question if JG is a real Rafa fan. Now, no, I think there's a lot of people out there like doesn't he want to stay up to watch his man play a match? Strange. Oh, so much passion normally. I watch him. I just don't know if I could stream. Leave me. Yes, Joseph, leave me alone. This is bullying on a on a. Oh, on a large weird. Scale this level. is bullying. Oh, on, on a large the bully scale. gets the bully feels like he's being bullied. Weird. <laughs> We've got Liam saying, if I join the GOAT tier, will JG cover every match from now until Sunday? <laughs> yes, yes, he will. No, but I'll tell you who will, John Silk. We're going to get him on every single stream if you join the GOAT tier, Liam. <laughs> John, John's, uh, we have to see the fine print of his contract for that. Should John Silk start an OnlyFans? New poll. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So might be some go. people out this there. This one is going for... tie break though. I agree. God, I just see all JG. I can't even read all the oh, comments. I just snail. see my name everywhere. <laughs> but JG told if Sam joined, he would do the match. Yeah, oh. I didn't say I'll do the whole match. You can look, go back. I've not said I'm going to do the whole do match. Well, that's what you made people believe. Well, they, they, the terms was not set, clearly. I didn't think Terrible. Sam was going to join the membership. Oh, <laughs> so... You can't base that on. You can't throw things out there and not live up to your side of the deal. That makes you an untrustworthy man if you do that. And then people will stop trusting you altogether. You're not a man of your word. Uh, not a Rafa fan, not a real Rafa fan, not prepared to stay up and watch him and give your thoughts on his match. We'll leave it at that, I think. Sad. And then Brandon, his favourite buttons come in. It's not a player one. It is the tie-break button. Let's get some tie-break predictions in the live chat now. Gene going 8-6, eight, six, eight, six, Tillich. That's a bit of a tongue twister. 8-6, Tillich. John, as a silk. So saying, as you ain't smart, JG. Two, two. Two, two. What does that mean? You're clearly looking for beef. <laughs> Sam's coming for my neck right yeah, now. Yeah, go for him. <laughs> Where we go? I think got the main seven... thing is we all want Rafa to win. Whether we stream or not stream, the most important thing is Rafa wins the match. <laughs> so maybe just stream the end of the match then. And then people can celebrate with you at the end of the yeah, match. He does. Come on, Chilich gets the mini break. Big, uh, big forehand from him. Two one. That would be my idea. Sleep before, wake up, just cover like the last part of it, and then that way you can celebrate the win. We will be having a Ben versus JG match as well in 2022. So make sure yeah, hopefully um, you're subscribed to the channel. A live you stream. Don't I'm miss not it. sure. And I, I am going to double live. bagel him, and I am going to vamos on every point I win. Um, and I am going to literally get up in his face and really humiliate him, to be honest. If Big he words. is at the net, if he does come to the net, I'm not passing him. I think I think we all know that we can't believe anything JG says anymore because he doesn't stick to his Are words. you going to be able to pass Ben at the net? No, I won't pass him. I'm going to go straight through the body. I want him to feel I won't pain. even be at the net, mate. I won't even need to. I'm going to aim won't... at him. I'm going to aim at him to win the point. All big words from a man whose word we can't trust Listen, anymore. Well, you remember so, it sadly, now. I'm it on this stream. Know. I will be double bageling Ben. Double Sam bageling already him. knows not to trust this. Anything that comes out of that mouth is now a lie. So we don't believe anything JG says anymore. So that's all we know. Brilliant. I know that I can always turn back to this moment in time and anything you say. Oh, you can't say that yet because... If I double bagel you, then what happens no, then? No, but if you don't do Rafa, then why we no one? I said I'll do it. a bit of Rafa. Nah, not good enough. <laughs> I can do a bit of it. Not then good I'm enough. true to my word. I've not lied once. Mm. Here we there go. go. Chill it for one. Gene saying I woke up at 4 30 a.m. to watch Towson Collins. Why can't JG just do that? Because I've got if I'm being honest, it's not really about me this time. Oh. It's not about Passing me. I would, listen, if it was just me, I, I guarantee I would do it for my word and I'll 100% do the whole match. But it's not about me. There's other commitments and other people I've got to please. You've got to remember everyone has other lives as well. And it's not about me. Trust me, I'll do it all nighter to be true to my word. 
Rafa low on his list of priorities, unfortunately, guys. Okay, anyway, we're in this tie break. We should focus on this. It is 4 2 to Marin Chilic. He has a mini break. <laughs> Link says JG's like the Australian government always <laughs> saying no. <laughs> Correct. Right, here we go. 4 2. Chilic has the Croat fans on their feet in the crowd. Can he make this two sets to love? Oh, he's hitting the ball well here, Chilic. Got Rublev on the back foot. It's 5 2. Oh, come on, 5 2. I'm so happy for him right now. Playing so well. Very well. He fully does deserve this. I feel like I've got a bit distracted of late and I need to focus back on this match. Idimo. I'm really it's happy Davar. for you, Davor, as well. Chilich here looking set for this second set. All right, 5 2. Rublev needs a second serve from Chilich right now. Oh, challenge that. Went. I don't think you can challenge. Challenge. <laughs> There's no challenges allowed. But guys, if you're just joining us, hit a like on this video. We're eight away from 100. Subscribe if you're new. Backhand to backhand. Forehand to forehand. Oh, into the net from Chilich now. The second serves aren't getting the same sort of level of success as the first ones, but he still has another server. Yeah, this is a big, big serve coming up. We need to see set point. You RS can't support. give Rublev a lifeline. Come on, Marin, says RS. Ace coming up, says Uda. Please, please hit an ace. He's looking intently down the other end. Rublev just waiting for it, hoping he doesn't see a first serve. He does see Come one. On. It's too big. Three set points. Marin Chilich, the big man serving down bombs. Rublev, he's in all over the place. He can't handle the power of Marin Chilich. And we do have set point one hour 25 on the clock. Chilich took the first set. Second set on a knife edge. But we do have three set points. Uh, it's only one break of serve, though, in this tie break. And Rublev to serve here. Can he get it done? Oh, is it the neck cord? the neck cord. Finished. Finished. He's a big forehand into the open call. Rublev rooted down the center. And he wins the second set. 7-5 in the first. 7-6 in the second. Marin Chilich. Some call him a bitch. Uh, I'm just a big fan. <laughs> Be the rich, ain't a snitch, make you my bitch. Marin Chilich. Be the rich, ain't a snitch, make you my bitch. I'm Marin Chilich. I got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chilich. I got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chilich. We're getting a few Idy Moles in the chat. Come on, let's go. Marin Chilich doing the business right now. At least I got something right. Chilich to win in a tie break. It is two sets to love. Uh, I think it was a fairly safe pick because he's serving so well. Yeah, but your initial pick is now eh -eh, cancelled. Oh, yeah, four, wasn't it? I was saying. Yep, that one is. Rublin in four out the window. Gone. Mine's still alive. Chilich in four. But it could yeah, even it could Chilich happen. Three. <laughs> I think it looks more likely Chilich in three right now. If I'm totally honest, well done to anybody who was saying that in the chat. You really favour in your man, Marin Chilich. It's a Grand Slam performer. Meg saying so. Compromise. Can the Silky Milky, the Bachelor Man, <laughs> replace you for the <laughs> three AM the Dow match? I don't know. I don't know if I'm honest. He's going to be an hour ahead for him, bear in mind. It's a 4 so a.m. match 4 for, John Silk, <laughs> for John Silk. He does do all-nighters, so we'll have to see what he's doing with his schedule. Well, for me, I wanted to cover Keys Badoza at midnight, and then I wanted to cover the matches in the morning. I want to cover Barty Anissimova and Kalenio Busta Bellatini. So after Badoza, I was hoping I could go to sleep for a bit and then cover two more matches in the next day. That was my thought process. But the Rafa match, for me, I mean, it's. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover it anyway, because otherwise I won't be able to cover any of the other matches. Yeah, but maybe don't cover any match in the morning. No, but I want to cover those matches in the morning. Yeah, but they're, they're more they're more competitive for. They're more competitive than the Rafa Manorino match for me. What, Barty? Is any yeah, match Barty, Barty plays Barty in and Nisimova? 
Are you talking over? I don't think she can get through Barty. She just knocked out the reigning champion, and who didn't play very well. Doesn't you, matter. You'd agree. I, I, and Nisimova did play very well. That's what you need to focus on. And she on. only focus just on. about beat her. And Osaka had match points and she played terribly. So still yeah. in good like form. Like you said, she didn't even she I wouldn't It's more mate. intriguing than Manorino Nadal, let's put it that way. Busta Berrettini as well, another yeah. one. They're very intrigued in that. That could right. go well, either it's way. It's up to you, obviously. I can't tell you what to do. Like Nadal uh Manorino doesn't in it's not as intriguing. I think Rafa blitzes him in straight sets. That's my personal I think Barty opinion. blitzes Anisimova. I think Anisimova will maybe get five games. Don't know, we'll wait and see. I'm more it, it, there's a level of intrigue in that one though, because of well, what Anisimova has achieved in this tournament so far. All I've seen from Manorino is anti tennis so far in the tournament, and he's got to where he is with that type of tennis. Uh, Davos saying Chilich Nadal final, mm. a repeat of 2018 quarters. Mm. You're looking a long way down the line there. A few oh, big hitters sir. still left in. It's very over Medvedev. Yes, massive hitters. Like, it's going to be interesting to see how Zverev does against Shapo. Like, uh, that could be a potential banana skin, but surely Zverev should have enough in that one. Kanepi Sabalenka sounds very interesting as well. Yeah, if Saba does have an off day with the serve and hits more than 10 double faults, then Kanepi mm. can do her. She's been winning some convincing sets, Kanepi, actually. Not yep. bagels, but close. Cornet is playing pretty well this tournament as well. She's up against Halep next. And Chilich, who's he got next if he can get through Rublev? Is it Felix, Felix, yep. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting oh, one. Oh, that is huge. Oh, that is ridiculous. What a forehand from Chilich. Why is nobody talking about this guy to go all the way? Be the rich, ain't a snitch, make you my bitch, Marin Chilich. Be the rich, ain't a snitch, make you my bitch, I'm Marin Chilich. I got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chilich. I got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chilich. He's really having a go at Rublev there. Oh, a big forehand again. Rublev, oh, he can't hang in there with him. He's too powerful. Break point. Yep. Break point. Is this it? Is it big game moment. over? Well, the way Chilich has served, it probably would be over. I'm not sure Rublev is going to break him. He's had, what, one break point opportunity? Yeah, he's not. He's, he's barely had any chances. He's not had many chances. He's not hardly made any indents on the. Oh, no. That's brilliant, though. That's class. It's kind of button worthy. He pulls out a clutch serve when it matters on break point. Yeah. And there's nothing Chilich could have done with that one. This is a funny tweet uh, or t comment from Rachel saying, Why does John <laughs> Silk look like he's sitting in a dark dungeon all the time? Maybe he is. <laughs> he is going to he's gonna sort out the lighting uh, soon. Just not yes. yet. It's another He's winner, mate. It's moving. another winner. Did you see that yeah. one? Big. Can't hit into the hitting zone of Marin and Chilich. Bang. This is Luke's favourite go-to at the moment. <laughs> Chilich, Silip bang, isn't it? Bang, and the dirt is gone. Rublev the dirt, is it? Nice hit again. Oh, he's so powerful. Flat hitting. Rublev just trying to hang in these rallies at the moment. Here we go. Watch out. That's long. Oh, he's just oh, overcooked that one. So close. Another break point saved. It's juice. Rublev is going to have to do something incredible to be able to get out of this, even this set. <laughs> it's, Chilich's level is so high right now. All right, juice. Into the net. Second serve for Chilich again. Oh, oh, we know what this means. Chris Mir saying, wait for Rublev 2-2. Two, two. All right, Chris Mir knows his stuff. So, oh, nice that's out. wide. No. Just wide. So close. That's what I give a shout out to everyone who's liked the video because we've hit 100 likes. <sighs> If you haven't already, guys, make sure hit the like button on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Advantage Rublev. 
backhand. So it's a winner, second always serve. second serve. Yep. And they're just so easy to swat away for Chilich. Something else, man. Rublev needs to go back to the drawing board after this match and just perfect nah, a better second it's serve. It's not really him, man. Rublev's got a good second serve. It's just Chilich. Any serve with a lack of power. Yeah, that's what I mean. He maybe needs to work on putting some extra spins on it, extra different looks. It's too predictable. As we've seen, he starts he guessing where, one. where he's going to go. Yeah, that can't turn on the backhand side was ridiculous. But he knows he's going out wide to the backhand. Oh, Look, there again. As well. Yeah, so it's too great. good. And we do have another break point. Just hope we get, if we get another second serve, I think he breaks here. Looks like it. Gene saying, I really love how Chilich death stares his opponent. Kind of what Djokovic <laughs> does. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, that what stare a serve. is um, very threatening. <laughs> Just needs that first serve, Rublev. I have to stick by it. If he's serving first serves, he has a chance of beating a lot of players. Second serves, he doesn't look good at all. Especially up against someone like Chilich. First serves in. Ace. That's a lot better. Needs to get that pop in. Six minute game here to start yeah. the third set. Long old one, isn't it? Well, it's not been a long match for considering the scoreline. Yeah. There you go. Three big serve, first serves in a row, and he gets out of that first game somehow, Andre. Well played, but yeah. unworthy attempt, I feel, from the Russian. This is interesting. Chilich needs to break here to lose the next two sets. How does that work? Yeah, I'm not sure what he means. <laughs> uh, Rublev needs to break for Chilich to lose the next two. Maybe he means Rublev. Maybe, yeah. Uh, clarify, please, Chris Smear. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy to get things wrong in the uh, live chat or on the stream. So stay down a break in the second set, trading 3-1. That one's... Pavlyuchenko was very good, though. That could easily turn around, though. Good volley in there. Comes to the net, puts away the volley. Sir volley in. Crazy style. Oh, Davos in it. It's because Chilich has the tendency to collapse. Oh, no. He's saying that about his own man now. Don't say it's that. because Davor knows. He's watched him so many times. Chris Smith says, this means a meltdown after feeling secure, guys. Come on. I don't know. He looks pretty good still at the moment. When's it, when's it coming? When's it due? Luke's saying Chris Smith is already on the beers. I'm hoping he's up a break before the meltdown. Oh, what so okay so he goes up a break and then has gets too complacent and then has a meltdown i'm hoping there's just no meltdown that would be great yeah. i'd love a nice free set victory so, for chilich i don't think rublev would like to go break down before having to come back in this one oh, oh he's, see he's, he's hanging the so lines well. listen he's playing he's playing great he's playing really good i think he beats felix in the next round if he's Felix. to get there, of course. Yeah. Who do you fancy? Ch Chilich or Felix? There's part of me that I, I prefer Felix's game to, uh, to Rublev against him. I feel that Felix, I don't know, if he's serving well, I think it's a, we could see a lot of tie breaks. What did I do on my bracket? I don't even know. You probably have Chilich in the, the next round, I would have thought. Or maybe he had Felix, actually. Not oh, sure. damn, I do have Felix. I think it's a good pick, though. No. Felix, the way he cleaned up uh, Evans, easy. To the double breadsticks him. Are you sure he's playing Felix, not Sissipas? Sissipas is playing Fritz. So I can't see it because my bracket's so messed up. It's hard to work out who's playing who. Oh yeah, yeah. Felix. Yeah. So I've got Felix beating him. It's yeah. Annoying. Felix versus Crazy. Uh, after that, maybe. 
Right, well, back on serve still. Uh, it is one game all in this third set. Oh, what the, what the crowd laughing about? Your bracket. I think they've had a look at it. I <laughs> <laughs> just put a picture of Skatov on the They're just watching the, main the, the qualifiers to watch video. <laughs> That's on the main screen in, <laughs> in the stadium. They just announced it over the tannoy. Uh, we can confirm that uh, after the match, Skatov will be knocking up on court <laughs> just for everybody who wants to stay and watch. Oh, into the net from Rublev. Is this the tie? Is Chris Mir predicting the future here? I feel like he is. I feel like this is the moment. Chilich gets the break. Oh, so here we go. If Rublev makes uh, make the 2-1, then 2-2 it's easier. This set is much, much harder. But still, that's confusing me as well. So... <laughs> <laughs> that didn't clarify anything for me. I'm sorry, Chris. That didn't <laughs> gonna... Clara, Towson, anything for me. Clara, Burrell. <laughs> oh, it's into the net. Allez, here he comes. Allez, 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 allez. 15 30, here he comes. You need more. You need yeah, more. Manuel, he says it. Look, Chilich's returns have been unbelievable today. I think he yeah. can rip through this draw. If Felix has a few second serves, he's going to rip them as well. Oh, Rublev just looks really nervy. I would be as well if you've got chilling <laughs> playing like this. <laughs> it's side. a nightmare. Oh, great point. Come on, this is the moment. <laughs> Chris Mill, he's come in. He's told us what's happening. I hope anybody put a bet on Chilich to break. Rublev looks visibly annoyed right now. Oh, he's returned Whoa, it again. Oh, God. Is this in the net? <laughs> Come on, Marin Tillich. These returns. Outstanding. Be the rich. Ain't a snitch. Make you my bitch. Marin Tillich. Be the rich. Ain't a snitch. Make you my bitch. I'm Marin Tillich. I got the itch. Put you in the ditch. You little bitch. I'm Marin Tillich. I got the itch. Put you in the ditch. You little bitch. I'm Marin Chilich. Marin Chilich, wow. he's doing it right now. And listen, Ben, I did put a bet on him when you said, <laughs> I'll be honest, when you did say um, he was at 3.5, I was like, oh, good damn, I didn't realise that. But then I was yeah. too late. I got it at 2.2. Well, uh, if you're... I a... never, uh, listen, I, I did believe in the guy massively, so... Who, Chris Smear or Marin Cilic? No, Marin Cilic. That's why I'm surprised. You thought Rublev was going to win this one. I believed in Marin Cilic. I thought you did as well, kind of, at the start. That's why it surprised me. You went Rublev. We have to wait and see with Chris Smear's prediction at the minute, though, because he's still yeah. predicting we go to five at the moment. Yeah, Chris Smear feels more confident than ever I know. now Cilic has had that break. That's weird, Which isn't is fascinating. it? <laughs> I don't know. Chris Smear predicted Tara Daniel to defeat Murray in straight sets, which... Here we go. Like, okay, now's the time. Chill it to lose this and the next set. Well, listen, if you do that, you're a genius. That is a genius if it happens. Um, we'll, I'll we'll lose my bet, you. but I'll be, I don't know. I'll kind of be more astonished. I don't even mind losing it. If you know what I mean? Chill it. He's not going okay. to <laughs> If it starts unraveling now. If I'm, it starts I think... love 15, I'm already going to, oh no. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it's it wasn't. It was like, <laughs> oh, that was a weird one. If a it goes very... like sort of love 30, I'm going to be thinking, oh no, what's happened here? I feel like I'm in like the Matrix or something. Like, it's not real. <laughs> Shout out to everyone joining us. If we haven't, if, well, if you haven't already, hit the like button on the video and subscribe if you're new. We've got 270 in. Let's try and get up nice. to 200 likes. Ain't no snitch. Second serve for Rublev to look at. Look at the percentage of first serve points won from Marin Cilic. 90%. It's so incredible. What a shot that is. Oh, it's got it back in play. So Great good. hitting. This is brilliant. 90%. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it out there. This is the best performance I've watched this Australian Open so far. 
it's definitely up there for a I can't think of a so better dominant. One. So well, I haven't watched it's all the matches. Rafa. This eclipse Once... all the other matches I've seen. I genuinely think the best performer so far this event, what I've seen, I've not yeah. watched Medford ever really, has been Marin Chilic. From what we've watched on this live stream, uh, men or women, I think Azarenka has been great. It's another one sort of the women I think has been amazing. Awesome. But I think Chilich's performances here is the best we've covered on Game to Love, this Australian Open. Yeah, I think the coverage-wise, he's just absolutely, well, it's a one-sided affair at the moment. Yeah. Oh, we go. Chilich serving 40 love. Nothing's changing yet, Chris Smear. When's the break coming? Not now. <laughs> oh, sounds like that. Ace and a game to love. <laughs> Look at the winner count. Stacking up, isn't it, for Chilich? Yeah. 43 and counting. Chilich, amazing, get a first man. serve in, mate. That's a good one. But he's got it back in. Oh, dear. He's getting the first serve back now. That's not a good sign if you're a Rublev. <laughs> to be fair, though, he has been hitting kind of winners or really deep returns off the first serve as well. Sometimes. Yeah, Rublev needs to hit close to the lines, which makes it super dangerous. Missed the first serve. Is Chilich rolling back his 2014 form? Michael Walker in saying at the US Open from quarterfinals on, Chilich was unplayable. He seems pretty unplayable right now, if I'm honest. Ooh, it's just he's into the rally. What a backhand. It's too powerful. <laughs> Rublev does not know what to do right now. He's in shock. Love 30. Chris Smith saying, <clears throat> do you want also to tell you when the break comes back exactly? <laughs> yeah, that would be great if you could tell <laughs> us. Because I don't think it's happening, Chris. <sighs> Doubting Chris Smith. But it, oh I've... no, it doesn't bode well now. Second serve Rublev, love 30. Is it a double break he comes back from, Chris? <laughs> oh, Chilich, what Maybe that? that's it. Here we go. <laughs> it's a shank. <laughs> Where did that come from? It's almost like Chris Mir had the voodoo doll of Chilich in his hand, like, yeah. <laughs> On that shot, he hooks it into the crowd nearly, that uh, forehand. Oh, no. Here we go again. Let, oh, and again. Is it still first serve? Yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny. Oh, what a good first serve. Did well. Good, got good practice in at least. <clears throat> 30 all. Is that forehand going to be the beginning of the unraveling? We'll find out with Chris Mears' bad juju that he's putting on. He was tomorrow. love 30, one free, <laughs> and then he hit that dodgy forehand. Not one a point since, currently. Wait and see. I think it's that's a big forehand, but Rublev's answered that one. He's running around the backhand, opening up the whole court. I don't think that's wise. That's yeah, not. I don't. Why would you yeah. run all the way around that backhand? It's a bit ridiculous. Yeah, over the top. We do have break point Chilich right now. How many juices has Rublev had? I mean, he's going to have to go to another one if he's to save this break. Can Chilich get the top ten this year? RS is asking. Ooh, I like that. Not somebody, anybody was. I considering. wish I did it just to be a bit out there. Yeah, it's worth having an out there pick. If I could wind back the time, I would do it just for the. You know, just a. I know. There's too many wine back. Too many things that we could wind back the time on on GTL. But... Or into the rally is break point Rublev. He's going oh, big forehand. I'm shot. not sure if he's made it. Yeah, yeah. Has he? Rublev no, wasn't what? sure either. You have to have a no. look at the line. But he's just so... caught it. It must be outside. I think it's outside edge. That's what he has to do to win a point now against Chilich. Oh, so close. Look at his face. He's like, Rublev, oh. so lucky there. I say lucky, which is perfect. Yeah, I think so. I think he's having to hit lines to win points, which is crazy. Second serve goes into the Chilich backhand again. It's long this time. He's, that's the one he's been hitting the winners off for the yeah. past two sets. This time it's flown long. Not seen him do one of them in a while. Can Rublev find a first serve? Let's see. 
He can. It's a good first serve. He goes drive volley. Brilliant hitting. Yeah, good shot. He saved, well, he saves the break point and holds. Yeah, well played, Rublev. Andre Rublev. Oh. He is literally hitting the lines as well. Yeah, he's having to. <laughs> he's got no choice. Marin Cilic has got a big win wingspan on the baseline there. And do you have to uh maybe you should just try a few different looks as well? Like, what about a drop shot? When was the last time Rublev played a drop shot in his career? That'd be a good question for people. I don't think we ever see it. 2018. Well. <laughs> yeah, it was in a challenger. <laughs> and it was actually, well, some people are calling it a shank, but we never know whether it actually was an intentional drop shot it's or he just framed broke. it. <laughs> during, the, during the shot. <laughs> yeah, once uh, Rublev was having one of them big wearing rallies, forehand to forehand, a string broke and it sort of cannoned off the racket <laughs> and ended up being a drop shot. It was a great shot from him the best one I've seen such disguise on it he went for the full power forehand and then it just went he even held his head afterwards in complete disbelief genius we've got Christian in saying let's go colic <clears throat> colic hope he doesn't have colic that's what horses get isn't it yeah <laughs> or babies or babies <laughs> yeah that's, <it. laughs> that's weird Why are they the only two things that can get colic I don't know, maybe Chilich has got a bit of colic. <laughs> he is a bit of a workhorse. <laughs> oh, first service. And he's been hitting them forehands with a lot of excessive horsepower. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Keep the horse buns coming. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> oh, that's it. Hoofed that serve down the uh, no tee. stop. We're not doing horse fun. <laughs> yeah, let's kick him right out of there. Stop. <laughs> no, I think the main thing. <laughs> yeah, Rublev there. Uh, stop going where he's going nay instead. <laughs> oh no. no. Rublev nay in the other side now. <laughs> I think what he really needs to do is he needs to. Uh, just keep this stable form that he's got going on right now. <laughs> oh, the court. Good backhand return there. Opens up the forehand. Big forehand. It's into the net and it is 15 all. And Rublev yeah. getting into a rally on the Chilich serve finally. Yeah. Is this what Smear was talking about? I would say though, Chilich firmly in the saddle right now. Um, he is... <laughs> 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 He's in total control. He really is. Here we go. Nice. First. Come That's on. So good. So good. Can't deny that first serve. Shades of Medi. <clears throat> yeah. Are they same height, those two? I think it's close, isn't it? That's all chilling. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Jossip's come in with a good one there. He's cracking the whip. <laughs> Oh, nice right backhand from Chilich. Rublev, nice powerful backhand himself there. Going cross court. He needs to trust his backhand a bit more for my liking. Oh no. Whoa. Is that a shank? I don't know. No, it's not a shank, but this it's is an opportunity. Of... <laughs> it was like a balloony one, like when it sort of rolls up the racket. <clears throat> oh, Chris. Chris Mia. Yeah. What this you is... do to me? Smear, 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 smear. Is this his smear campaign? Maybe. <laughs> Here we go. First serve's oh, a good one. No. Oh, it's a great return. It's great point. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Andre Rublev, Bye, great father. point here. We've got Luke saying, uh, Silic galloping to the finish line. Not right now. <laughs> He's trotting. I think he's pulled up. He's lame. <laughs> <laughs> Unseated rider. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. 
<laughs> He's just the horse <laughs> running right now. There's no jockey on board. <laughs> <laughs> it's into the net. Second serve from, wouldn't it just be typical if there's a double fault now just to really consolidate this? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's, it's into the net. It's a hit. It is. Rublev has broken back. Is this? <clears throat> That's part of yeah. me wish I put a bet on it now. <laughs> I think the ketamine's wearing off. Chill it out, a cat. <laughs> well, yeah. <clears throat> well, maybe he's on the cat right now. Don't know. It's in that water bottle. <laughs> Worried. In the line. Just break back, Chilich. We've got to see what Rublev can he consolidate the break. That's the big Ooh. question. He's Whoa, made it. Gosh, what a he's, shot from Rublev. He's a man in form. He's moving well right now, Andre Rublev. Chilich did well to pick up the volley. Close call. I thought he, I, at the one point I did think he missed that forehand, but. I think it was on the mm. line. Let's have a look. Yeah. Sort of just yeah. spun really it off. What a great shot that was. He, and he went the same way that Chilich was standing, which is crazy. It's all good, Chris. We don't think he was arrogant at all. So do you think that it was... Uh, what was he saying? Chilich is going to win in the fifth still, though? Yeah. Interesting. That'd be mad <laughs> if that actually happens. I know. Oh, I saying, calm down, everyone. It's just one break. So stay looking. So stay looking to break early in the third. She's got three break points. Chilich comes to the net. Oh, oh, oh we're oh, oh, volley in now, and he's wow. spinning around on the volley. <laughs> he's a man possessed. Forty fifteen. How the tide has turned. All of a sudden, Rublev's come to life. I think Chilich has just dropped his level massively. He has, but it's given him the confidence to now even come to the net. How often do you see Rublev at the net? <laughs> Rare. It's an ace. Ace! <laughs> oh, come on! Andre Rublev. Wow. Uh, the, yeah, like Chris Mill was saying, the voodoo is working, Ben. <laughs> yeah, it appears it is. Whatever you did to Chilich's forehand in that one point, I'm not sure what you did. Poked him with a pin or something. It was like it went all off. Never seen such a bad forehand. He's played so well the whole match. That one forehand changed the match, it seems. Very strange. I was like, oh, we... Are we living in an alternate reality here? Is Chris Mir from the future? <laughs> don't know what's going on. Oh, so that is broken. Let's wow. Go. Big, that is. <clears throat> Especially the start of the... Uh, she lost 6-2 in the second set. Yeah. But looks like it's going to be a uh, battle to the death in that final set. I'm interested to see what the odds are now on Chilich to win. Ah, you can get Rublev, Rublev? <clears throat> fours. Might be <clears throat> worth doing. Maybe. You'd have to put a lot on, though, and I'm not prepared to do big bets. I don't want to be losing money while sitting here. The tennis is enough for me. <laughs> if I lose it, if, the, if my guy goes out the bracket, that's painful enough. If he goes out the bracket and I lose 20 quid, that's worse. <laughs> Jamie is saying, "What did you? What did JG think of Zach's impression of him?" I've not seen it. <laughs> he was trying to become you in the stream last night. What minute was this on? I don't know. It's towards the end. Once he'd warmed up a bit and he'd uh, 
the nerves had gone down a little bit. He started bringing out. Uh, he's 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 uh, brought up uh, what he thinks. What was the term sound... phrase? That's what I want to know. No, he says that you remind him of the chimney sweep from Mary Poppins. So, and he was oh, doing great. like a <laughs> chimney sweep. It was like, oh, hello, governor. <laughs> I don't know why. It was, it was so funny. I was cracking up, mate. I was literally in tears. It was, everybody was like, oh. No, Zach know. seems like a real good laugh. I'm so happy we had him on. Yeah, man. Hopefully yeah, we was... get him on again a few more times. For sure, man. What's going on? It's Love 30 on the Chillage Serve now. It's, it's unraveling. Chris Mere. Mate, he's done. I think he's done. <laughs> think Until, he's the done. Until the fifth. Until the fifth. Rublev's winning this set. It looks like it's it. Happening. I don't. I'm gonna have to go and grab some more. Water he was free one up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's completely turned around. <clears throat> oh my gosh! There we go. Love forty now. <laughs> <laughs> we did try warning you guys. Chris is never wrong. So <laughs> it's very strange. How can how did, we knew stats. it was going to happen as well. How can stats be that accurate, though? That's, that's very crazy. It is a bit. Chris Mears' graphs don't lie. Saying break to love for the GTL clip, Andre. <laughs> it's definitely going to get I hope one. Chris has actually got a bet on that. Yeah, I hope Not so as well. It. What were the odds on that, Chris? That'd be a good to know. Awesome. There we go. He's Just like place. that. Big boy. And he gets the break. He leads now 5 3. He's serving for this third set. <laughs> Bonanza going on right now. What's <laughs> happening? Yeah, the match is never going to come back on. A like on the video. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe if you're new. Rublev here serving for the third set. Chris Smith says, well, go to sleep now. Back for the fifth set. I could do with some sleep, I'm telling you. Did not get enough last night. It's kind of going to happen, isn't it? <clears throat> Looks like it, it's going to be 6-3. No, but I mean, it's kind of going to go five. Most likely. If it does, if it is going to five, then in this break of this set, I need to, to, there's a few bits I need to get done. Like I need to, one, use the bathroom, two, get more water, three, grab at least a piece of toast. Okay. That's so we'll, play, we'll play the little video clip. Yeah, the three minute clip. Uh, with, I don't think um, you can do all that in three minutes though. You'd be surprised <laughs> if I put the toast in first, then there go to go. the bathroom. <laughs> Game to love, consolidation wow. for Rublev. He's just won five games in a row on Joe Rublev. As well. That was so quick, wasn't it? It was 3 1, and then about what? Just blink, 10 minutes? Yeah. Seems like 10 minutes it's gone. And we've just gone through <laughs> like five games. Well, he has won, I think, eight in a row points, and maybe a few more. I don't know. That was pretty mad. Like, there was a lot of very easy. Oh, Chilich is going. He's like, I'm had enough. Chilich I'm off. going for a toilet break. Oh, uh, he's going you to... might want to use your toilet break yeah, as well. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go and meet Chilich and say hi. And I'll give you give 30 seconds, advice. and then I'll give, for, play the three minutes. So that should All be right. enough. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Uh, Lewis saying, run, Ben, run. I'll give him a little bit extra. The thing is, I was going to do the same, but we'll let him do that. Yeah, and it's 11 points in a row. So he just completely smashed it ever since Chris was saying it. And I can't quite believe it. Obviously, Marin Chilich looking so comfortable has kind of fallen apart. Um, he's not lost the match yet. He still would say his favourite in the match, maybe? Two sets, one up? Surely, 73% of the tennis live win predictor has him up. I think it has sort of edge, though. It's more like a 60-40 match now. Chilich just a, a slight favourite. It's all about how he starts his fourth set. If he gets broken early, I think he is... I think it's done. Like, it's, may as well just 
what wind on. It's going to definitely go five. Um, looking at the physical battle, total distance per uh, of kilometer in that third set. Chilich and Rublev pretty similar. Point three nine kilometers uh, and the same point three seven for Chilich. I don't really understand why they have all of these physical battle stats in the Australian Open this year. I don't read much into it. it doesn't make much sense to me. Um, but yeah, let's press the button anyway. Thanks for joining us, guys. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe. And here is some of the best parts of 2021. Hopefully, to, we're going to make plenty more this year in 2022. What are you drinking? <laughs> yeah, what, the, what is that? Oh, coconut. Nice. I thought it was a, I'd like a pina colada or something. <laughs> I want Kratsev to do well. Can Medvedev win it? I think so. The winner for me, Naomi Osaka. I think she's going to uh, start the year with a bang. He's a, the what? Aslan breaks. Well, Alex but, can't believe it. Oh my God. Djokovic into his ninth Australian Open final. He's gone for the love. He's got the smash. He's, he's got it. What an edge. 18 Grand Slams from Novak Djokovic. He wins his ninth Australian Open title. Down the line. Oh. Look at that. That is you top. can't write this stuff. Novak Djokovic has set a new world record. The return of Roger Federer. He misses it. Look at Harkas has got it! Come on, son! Oh. He's gone for and he's a winner! Good! Rublev wins it! Hey, ole, ole, ole! Stick to your, <laughs> stick to your Russian flag. It's wide! Oh, it's wide! Come on, us wins it! Aslan hitting it so hard, he's in! It's there! <laughs> he's got the first set! Come on! What a volley! What a volley from Sitterpass! No, no, it's a double fault! I've jinxed it, I knew it was going to happen! Where was he saved it? They're talking about Gail Falkenberg. Favourable treatment here for Rafa no, Nadal to not. win this. And it's wide, and Rafa oh. wins it! Yes! It's number 58! Rafa's missed the oh, volley! Oh no! Oh, 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 oh you naughty Fresh boy! Up. He silences the crowd, he puts his hand to his ear! There I'm we go! Come on! Kaya Jakova wins at Roland Garros 2021! Djokovic yeah. has hit another gear. He just did it because he's, he's better than most players. Rafael Nadal has now withdrawn. I'm gutted. Wimbledon, it is here, finally! Djokovic, Roger Federer on different sides of the draw. The surprise package, the Aslan Karatsev, you could say, of Wimbledon. Just can't wait to see what's next for Emma. Goes into the net! Into the net! The done it! Let's go, Djokovic! He is level with Federer, level with Rapper! But Zverev, on the other hand, amazing. He was really the best player. He's yes, done he's it! Done he's done it! Carlos Alcaraz remember it's the done it. It's long, it's oh. long! Leila Fernandez on the floor crying! GTL got it right again. The final we all wanted. Ace! <laughs> She's done it! She wins the US Open! Emma Raducanu! Let's go! The crowd is getting worse. They don't listen to you, umpire. You have no authority. There He's you go! Done He's, He's done, done it! it. It's a celebration. He plays dead. It's she a winner! She's done floor. it! It's a big one. She's on the floor. Paula Badoza, Indian Wells champion. It's so good! Yes! Djokovic it. wins! He's done it! Put... Oh, it's an ace! Second serve ace! What a champion he is. He's won it twice. Well played, Sasha Zverev. Hey, we just about, literally just about made it back in time. And just like that, the fourth set is underway. Chilich to serve first. Let's see if he can turn his fortunes around because, well, he struggled quite a bit in the sort of the back end of that third set. There we go. Sorry, let me just get, grab my stream up again. It is 40 50 for people just joining us. Let's see, can Chris Mir be right on this one? Would be a bit of a shot. If 
for my sake. I'm hoping Chilich can get it done. He drags the backhand just wide, 40-30. Over two hours in this match. If it does go five, we could be looking at sort of a four-hour thriller, which isn't too long, really, for a five-setter. There have been some quick sets. Yeah, and Fraze makes a good point. Ben really did go for that sister pass toilet break. <laughs> he went all out, it seems. <laughs> We're going to have to give him a violation when he comes back in. Points deduction. Good serve to the body of Rublev. Into the rally. Backhand to the forehand now of Marin Cilic. It's a big boy from Rublev. It's long. And Chilich does hold the first game of the fourth set. I feel like he really did need that to calm the nerves. He lost five on a bounce before this one. And he's finally ended the rot. One love. Can't give him a button for that. He just held serve. But it's encouraging. <laughs> Poor Davor must be so nervous. <laughs> KK saying he's still crying over the Aslan loss. Listen, I'm pretty happy with that because it means I, I do still stand by this. I think it's a lot easier for Nadal to be playing Manorino than Karatsev. Even though Manorino's playing well, I want him against Manorino. Sorry, I'm late. There we go. Luke saying, make his violation to stay up for the 3 a.m. match. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, your toilet breaks in as you did uh, a sister pass toilet break. And you you missed the start of play, you're going to have to get a violation warning. So it's going to give you a points deduction of some kind. Uh, Luke there suggested you me. just do the three AM match instead. I think that's a great deal. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I already did the one this morning on my own. Don't want to do <laughs> another one. <laughs> uh, Rafa's a bit boring anyway. Ken. <laughs> what are you going to say to that? Ken? Manorino straight sets probably, isn't it? Ken? <laughs> Ken? Ken? <Hell>. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if you haven't seen the song, Ken Lee, uh, go check it out on YouTube. I don't know if Ken's Ooh. seen it yet. Game to love. Go on then. I can't find it. I think we're going to have to start doing the thing like we did before, where we mm. get rid of the buttons and then add them back in because there's far too many now. There's loads in there. I mean, it's well We're not confusing. exaggerating. We're, to pick the buttons, I think there's a, maybe 30 buttons to choose from. Yeah, it's just it's it's over-congested, to say the least. I tried to keep it with people who are still in the tournament, but it's still far too many. I'll get rid of the Aussie button. We don't need that one for now. Uh... Collins get rid of got, any we don't need. Collins got two buttons in there at the moment. Well, she not, definitely don't need two buttons. <laughs> Djokovic is one. I can get rid of that for now. Federer as well. We don't need that for now. We'll leave Towson. Tidy up. Yeah, Towson yeah, can stay. Towson can stay. Uh, Medi. Don't know if we're even covering Medvedev. So let's get rid of him for now. Okay, it's a bit better. What time's the Silk go. Report today? Good question. Obviously, um, as you know, I do have a pretty packed out day. Um, but what time does your day I think commence? It's be, my day commences at one thirty. Oh, okay. So like an hour and ten. Yeah. Oof. If this goes to five, you may not see the end. Hopefully, Chilich gets it done now. Should be good. And then I will be back later on tonight. I've got a meal scheduled for seven. Be back by midnight. Where you get what type of meal? Um, it's an Indo-Chinese kind of pub slash shisha. Fusion. It's like a few different uh, flavors, really. Nice. Sounds nice. Yeah, it's good. I'll have to take you there one time. My trip. Where is it? Uh, nearby. Know. Yeah, it's no. nearby. I'm not going to say location so much anymore because I've been told off by my dad 
Uh, he doesn't like me saying <laughs> too many. He's like, you don't say all these details online about certain things. So I'm not doing that anymore. But yeah, celebrity just now. Play. Yeah, I'm when you're a celebrity, celebrity. That's I was, you, I was, man. I was listening to, uh, <laughs> I was listening to. Uh, Wait, True before Jordan's. you tell your story, game to love. Um, Yeah, I was listening to that True Geordie podcast he did with, uh, with who is it? Louis Theroux. That's a very oh, interesting right. one. Louis Theroux is such a legend anyway. Yeah, I, love I do like him. All of his stuff. But his, he was telling, saying about that similar sort of thing when they were filming documentaries and stuff. I think he filmed like Max Clifford, which was the, the editor of the Sun newspaper or something like that, I think. Yeah. And um, he they accidentally put like court his like address or like his house name or number okay. on the documentary which is a big no-no and then you obviously oh. you get into lots of trouble if you re reveal where these high power people live of course yeah yeah uh, so yeah he said yeah he, get, he got into trouble he said he did the same for the jimmy people Savile turn up one. at his address i don't know but he said he did the same for jimmy savile one and jimmy savile was like yeah <laughs> didn't care he's like that's fine but we all know what a piece of peep he was yeah Exactly. Yeah, so maybe we'll keep the uh, locations to a bare minimum. Let's just say London. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's where it is. It's as, as vast as London is. Oh, oh. brilliant rally. Brilliant rally. He's got Here it comes. And you've got to remember, <laughs> mate, my prediction was Chilich in fourth. So this, is, could be, this could be perfect for me. To a Jay, T. JG on a roll, it seems. So stay a 4 1. Can it be Chilich 3 1? <laughs> That's crazy. This is the day through. of the JG this Saturday, Super Saturday. Crazy's through. All we need is Rafa to win the Australian Open, and he's got a clean sweep, I feel. And eager. And eager has a rank of final. Imagine if that happens. I think uh, I might as well just retire from brackets for the rest of 2022 <laughs> if that happens. I think I could even get, even if I was to win one, it wouldn't even compete. I'll be with Skatov on the other side. Of... <laughs> That's me and him sitting there doing a mukbang together. <laughs> no, I, think what, I think what we're going to do is we're, we're going to get, get Silk on replacing you. And then we're going to have to have to do the Ben report every day. You've been demoted to the report. Oh, I don't know. There's been calls for JG to be replaced by Silk as well. <laughs> or Zach. Maybe we're both going to get replaced. <laughs> Zach and Silk. Zach and Silk be... doing the main show. And then we're just doing the, the reports. You did the JG report. And I go down one other notch. I'll go down to what? I'm just in the background. Just producing. Play your rankings right. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and Skatov hosting. Game of faces. <laughs> it's a game, game of faces. Of faces. It's, a it's a game of, game of faces. faces. Mate, it'd just be me and uh, me and Skatov do our own like spin-off. We have our own <laughs> spin-off podcast. <Masterchef. laughs> I want to get Skatov on the pod, mate. So I'm going to try and reach out to him, see if I we can get we him can. on. No, man. Mate, we it's can. Too funny. I'll just laugh when I see him. Mate, I'm getting Skatov on the pod. Dirty all. It's an opportunity here yeah, for Chilich to break if he can just pull some consistent shots to get us into the net from Rublev. 30 Break point time. Where are you now, Chris Smear? Wake up. Wake up from your slumber. No, don't come back in. Stay out, Chris. I do not want to hear any more of your juju on the stream. <laughs> He's got plenty of it. <laughs> Luke saying, Ben, how not to do your tennis bracket podcast? <laughs> yeah. People will be coming to me just to go opposite to my picks. <laughs> I'm winning loads of money. Oh, Rublev does wide. this and Tillich breaks and he gets the most dangerous scoreline for Marin Tillich, which is 3 1. Be the rich, ain't a snitch, make to my bitch. Marin Tillich, be the rich, ain't a snitch, make to my bitch. I'm Marin Tillich. The itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm married chillage. I got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm married chillage. Uh, Brandon's saying, getting scat of on after we've spent the past week talking about how bad he is. <laughs> what a great a idea that idea. would be. I got a better idea, which would be even funnier. 
Challenge JG, the next opponent is Skatov. JG beats him, then I have to just like cry in a corner somewhere. <laughs> Man, I'd get absolutely ripped to shreds. <laughs> Imagine if you beat him. I wouldn't win a point. Oh no, it's happening again. 3 1. Oh. Last time it was 3 1. Rublev 1 5 on the bounce. So, in terrible again, service please. game. Good, it was early. Chris Mir lives in hope. We're going to see a repeat of the last set. Next five games to Rublev. Come on. Let's do this. Yeah, Lon Longinus saying, Rublev. <laughs> Great serve. Loop that one up. It's not even making it over. Just do more of them. Where was this in the third set anyway? Why couldn't he just serve like that when he was under pressure? I don't know. Everybody, that's all players seem to have a Chilich, bit. Though. Like, he's just, what happened to him? He just, he, that is a big worry, isn't it? We were just talking about how he's the best, like the best player we've seen this year. And then he just capitulated. <laughs> how worrying is it supporting a man who can do that? That's what I like about the, the Grand Slam format, though. Five sets. It's yeah. like, players can do it over two, but a third set is a real telltale sign of where, how where you're at and your tennis like game. Yeah. And that's, that's number 20, ace count wise. Wow, 20, racking them up. But Chilich, he typifies a player who can be the very best player in the world in spells. Mm. And he can then play like a, maybe a 500 in the world in the next set. There's yeah. not many who do that. Like that, he can really drop off quickly as well. There we go. It must be so hard to support a man like that. <laughs> <laughs> but exciting as well. He's a roller coaster of emotions watching Chilich. What about Schwartzman? He has sort of a similar sort of no, way Schwartzman, about him. No, he's a little bit more consistent for me. But he has the he's he's there for the taking sometimes, even against low ranked opposition. Got knocked out by Chris O'Connell in this tournament. Yeah. Straight sets as well. Oh, Rublev there almost smashed his racket. He didn't. Forty fifteen. Gonna have to come back from a bigger deficit, it would seem. Lewis and I would love to see uh Chilich Rafa. That it would be incredible the way Chilich has played for three of these sets. I think that would only be the final. The only way we could see them too. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's right. I'll have a quick look. Oh, he's missed the first serve. Gets a second six, six, And you think whoever wins this beats Felix? I think if Rublev wins, Felix beats him. If Chilich wins, I think Chilich beats Felix. However, my bracket does have Felix. <laughs> He's gone back on it. I think Felix will probably win. There you go. He does hold. And it is, well, is that consolidation? Yeah, and 4 1. Felix Rich, England Snitch, Mikuma Bitch, Marin Chilich. Felix Rich, England Snitch, Mikuma Bitch. I'm Mary Chillich. I got the itch. Put you in the ditch. You little bitch. I'm Mary Chillich. I got the itch. Put you in the ditch. You little bitch. I'm Mary Chillich. Uh, loving this right now. 4 1. He's broke the curse of the third. And my prediction looking great. Chillich in four. Can he do it? He's two games away. He's got only one break, though. Yeah, we got Megs Carpentry in saying, just saw Felix's highlights with Evans. Wow. FAA is really improving over the past year. It's thrilling to see him increase his skills. So proud. Yeah, you must be proud of both of your uh, Canadians, Chapo and Felix. Seem to be doing well in slams recently. Yeah, just hoping Chapo can beat Zverev. That's a big, big... That's the cherry hope. on the cake for me. Imagine, and I think you'd probably prefer it if Buster knocks out Berrettini as well. Another like sort of, I think Berrettini would trouble Rafa more than Buster just folds against Rafa. Yeah, so that'd be that, great. if that if then you want Monfils being out, handed is uh twenty one. Monfils out to Kekmanovic. So then you got then Chilich in the final. Chilich to knock out Medvedev. Chilich wins Nadal, that? Nadal uh, Chilich <laughs> final. Chilich grabs his second slam. Listen, no. could do. But you never playing, know. If he's playing like this, honestly, Rafa's serves are going to be ripped into. What about Sinner or Sissipas? I would like Sissipas in the final. Medvedev. 
Would you like to watch Sister Pass Nadal Australian Open final? Oh yeah, that'd be great. I like to watch them play whatever round they play. That's always a. But ultimately, must watch. I'll stand by this. I do think <clears throat> I was saying it off stream. I know I have to like sort of be a bit more out there on the stream, but if I'm being entirely honest, it's hard to really look past Zverev, Medvedev. I'm not sure how we don't see that final. Well, it's it's going to take a mammoth effort from yeah. somebody playing. They're going to have to drop off and do something weird for me. Yeah, to something not get strange that. is going to have to happen for not to see that. They're the two best. I think even with Djokovic here, we could have seen that final. Yeah, it was it's definitely possible. I had Medvedev winning whether Djokovic yeah. went there or not. I don't. Yeah. I said that to you. I think off the stream before yeah. we even did the draw previews. Or I think we Djokovic both did, won. didn't we? We both yeah. had Chile, uh, We both had Medvedev winning. Yeah. I'd, there was a part of me, I just thought you can't enter Australia and the Australian Open with all that media frenzy around you and still compete and do well. No way. Didn't even play in the end anyway. I yeah, wonder what he's doing there. on Chilich right now, 4-2 in the fourth set. It's his turn to serve. This is big. Chris Mir, what's going to happen? <laughs> tell us now. No, we need to know. Us. Oh, we want a Man U West Ham prediction. Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm going 3 2. See you. <laughs> My nightmare. What is this new? What is this see you thing? Ronaldo. I don't know, yeah, no, but I don't get what's. Do you know his why... celebration where he goes, Soo! he does that like, I... like jump celebration after he yeah, scores? Yeah, but where does the word come from? That's, That's what, what he says. Soo! Oh, is it? Yeah. I didn't even really know that. Like a child. Embarrassing. Shoo. 36 year old shouting shoe. Grow up. Shoe. <laughs> shoe. <laughs> Grow up. He's growing. Well, he's quite old now. 36. He's carrying a team. <laughs> Why are you shouting shoe? Grow up. What else is he supposed to My opinion to on it anyway. Grow up. It's not a popular one. <laughs> Probably going to get so much hate now for, for going against Ronaldo. Nah. Yeah, it's Ronaldo is big in Australia. They're doing it after they did it after every single yeah. point. Kyrgios <laughs> one. No, no, no. Sounds like booing though, doesn't it? <laughs> it's very strange. Yeah. No way, Ronaldo isn't getting a goal today. You will see. Ooh. Oh, oh, Sir Steyer wins. Let's go, Dark wow. Horse. Come on, she smashed it. Oh, oh, he's no. just missed the drop shot. Oh, God, what was, that what was a great attempt. It's not good enough, though, Ben. No, it wasn't. But... It's an easier drop shot to make than miss, and someone of his level needs to do it. He needs to close out this match. What are you doing missing a shot like that? <laughs> like this hating. prediction. 1-0 West Ham, 93rd minute own goal from Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that, that sounds terrible. Snooze fest. <laughs> That's what how West Ham always used to beat Man United, one nil. And it used to be that was nice. like a big frenzy. Vamos. Idimo. Idimo Marin Zilic. Another thing about these two, uh, they did play in Adria Tour not too long ago. <laughs> <Very> good match. <laughs> Just uh, a comment. Rublev won on that occasion. He uh, beat uh, Cilic <laughs> at the Adria Tour. COVID Obviously rules. Obviously a famous event. Different set of rules in that one. <laughs> During the peak of COVID. <laughs> I know. Do what you want. Yeah. Party time. <laughs> right. Second serve, is that? Or is that a let? I missed Didn't it. See. Didn't hear. Luke's asking, oh, do you both support West Ham? Bas basically, we do. Yeah. Ben's a big Very West Ham fan. Massive. I've been to see West Ham more than I've seen any other club live, so... Uh, I think ben likes his boxing. Defaults me supporting them these days. I've never been to the new stadium, though, so I do want to go with you at one point to see them at the Olympic Stadium. Yeah, you always say that. Then every time I ask you, you say, no, I'm not going today. After the pandemic's over, I definitely will. That's a promise. Oh, Rob Lev almost smashed his uh, knee off there. He's uh, always doing that. <laughs> he, he almost smashed his kneecap in. Don't do that. Who was it? Wasn't it Rublev who got in trouble before when he kicked his racket? Like he held it. And like just he punched like... the floor once as well and had all blood on his hand. Or was that Fanini? Yeah, Fanini punched his racket at Wimbledon. I remember that. And then he had a medical timeout because he hurt his, <laughs> he hurt his, uh, his hand. Fool it. 
Fulio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how's is that landed in? Is he going to pass? What no, the not. hell? Come on, give him the button. Wow. That is incredible from Rublev. He is hitting the lines right now. Shout out, Andre. Forty thirty. What's Chilich got in the locker? Has he got a big serve? No. He does, but into the net. I'm interested to see the silk report today as well. Obviously, the big part of the silk report <laughs> this match. <laughs> the first three seconds of it, anyway. Not many words said during this one, but no, there you go, juice. Did Chilich win today? John doesn't even read it. He just shows it. <laughs> I know, and then moves on. I know, but it doesn't do much for our audio listeners. I have to say that, John. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the not... audio listeners, what do we, when we upload that to Spotify, <laughs> they're just like, I mean. it started? <laughs> have, I, it's not... have I had internet issues? Dun, 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 dun. Ten seconds later, John starts speaking <laughs> after the intro. Oh, it's juice. Come on, this is so big. Oh, and he misses the first serve. Can't buy a first serve. Classic Kyrgios. Here we go. Second serve. Andre Rublev. Nice forehand. Backhand from Chilich. Backhand. Oh, nice backhand, oh, Chilich. Oh, 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 let's go. Ali, 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 Ali. His team up on the feet. That is a huge backhand winner. Chilich's backhand's class, by the way. It's so good. I would avoid it at all costs. So flat. Bang. Look at that. He actually can use it as a weapon. And it knocked Rublev over. He fell over. Did you see that? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Poor Rublev. It's got so much force in it. I Made do like Rublev, probably. actually. It's growing on me more. Well, remember what Donskoy was saying. Oh, Ace. What a way to get to the Magic 5. One game away. Be the rich. Ain't a snitch. Make to my bitch. Marin Chilich, be the rich, ain't a snitch, make to my bitch. I'm Marin Chilich, I got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chilich, I got the itch, put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chilich. Hey, great to see so many Croatians now joining. We've got Marco in, shout out to you. Ronald saying, yes, Chilich. And we've got Fatima as well saying, go Chilich. Added a H into it for you there. Uh, that button. Ronald, I just said, I trust you. I just look at the the face. Each picture of him that comes up, I just look at his facial expression. It just makes me chuckle all the way through that button. He's, he does some very good, interesting facial uh, expressions. Yeah. We've got Miriam saying, go chill it. Support from a Serbian. Hmm. Then there was someone earlier in the chat saying that Chilich is Serbian, not Croatian. I don't know if that's <laughs> true. I think they're just uh, well needed someone to cheer on other than Kekmanovic, maybe. But maybe it's true. I don't know his uh, full background. He was uh, born in Bosnia Herzegovina. Here we go. On the Magic Five, the crowd roaring. This is the final uh, tennis that will be played today. Great serve from Rublev. And Chilich he apologizing apologize that? The ball he boy, went, I think. I think he hit a ball boy. Yeah, I think it went close. They fought him immediately. Yeah, <laughs> Chilich disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what Ooh, was that? Good serve. <laughs> what was that? Good we saw one serve. of those from Hatchinov yesterday as well. He did yeah. that. P put his uh, little racket up in front no, of you've his got face. To, you've got to do that sometimes. I feel like it's just protecting yourself sometimes. No, it's just it's... when it pops up like that and you're not set. It's the only way to hit it. I've returned many a serves like it. I've hit many volleys like it. When it comes flying at you and you don't know what to do, you're like, ah, just pop it in front of your face. Just don't hit my face.
Well, this is pretty uh, simple for Rob Lev. End second of an ace. Second <laughs> serve <laughs> ace. But scoreboard hasn't updated, guys. Rublev has just held to love. Game. Wow. We're serving for it now. Scoreboard is wrong, just so you know. If you haven't hit a like, hit a like on the video now. Subscribe to the channel as well. Yeah, stay saying ESPN Plus sucks. I agree. I've seen so many people talking yeah. about it. They cut away the other day. Uh, in the important moment of a Saka match at five all, they just got rid of it altogether. Um, yeah, it's not great. What we recommend, best thing to do, subscribe to Game to Love completely free. Like all of our videos. Join us for as many streams oh. as you can. We'll cover the matches for you. And if you want to support us, rather than an ESPN membership, just sign up for the membership on YouTube. Helps us out. And it's oh, a lot bro. cheaper. Yeah. You get a lot better uh, commentary as well, So, as I'm told. <laughs> oh, that was close from Rublev. You got a bit yeah. lucky there, Chilich. The net cord, three points away now. Needs a big serve. He does not, I repeat, does not want to be feeding him second serves right now. Good hitting Ooh. from Chilich. It's long. It's out. Come on, 30 love, two points away. Chilich so close now. To secure in the match and a place in the next round to face Felix. Oh, that one, they'll probably be flying through the games even quicker than this one with Felix. Here we go. Luke's saying the Aussie just TV only put on Aus Australian matches. <laughs> so annoying. A bit yeah, like I the saw British. the Barty one got better viewing figures than the Nadal match. <laughs> Well, in 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 Britain, we put the British people on as well, so I don't think we can. That's a BBC for you. Manch hate that. Here we go. Chilich backhand down the line into forehand of Rublev. Forehand to forehand. Chilich has more power, it seems. Backhand. Now the slice from. No. Oh, why the slice? No. Where did no, that no, come no. from? All of a sudden, it's like he gave up on thinking he could. Out because Rublev. he moved him a few times. He was hoping to have got the point by that point, and he didn't. So he's like, oh, I'm running out of ideas now. I'm going to go slice. <laughs> slice it. Why does he keep hitting the ball back? This is not part of the script. Yeah. Where's my flat winners? <laughs> Gerald's watching from the kitchen. How are we doing, Gerald? What are you making in the kitchen? Oh, cooking up a storm. 30-15. Misses down the tee. Here we go. Second serve. Rublev. It's last chance. About, Chile. I just don't even fancy him from this position. I still feel like he can lose. <laughs> I badly he's, think he can lose. He's taken do. a long time, isn't he, to serve? What's going on? I just on? don't feel you with confidence. Please get a match point. So he needs Rublev yes, to do he that. Does. We need <laughs> Rublev it. to make a mistake. And we do have two match points for Marin Cilic. Match point. Dun, dun, dun. Over 400 people in for this match point. It is 2 hour 36 on the clock. It's been a pretty quick match, really. 7-5, seven, 7-6. Seven, Rublev come back in the third, winning five games in a row. We're now 5-3, 40-15. Marin Chilich, two match points. Can he secure one of these? One will be enough for a pace in the next round against uh, <laughs> Felix. He's got it. There it is. is. Ace. Down the tee, he runs, he jumps up, he celebrates. The Croatians in the crowd going crazy. Rublev congratulates him at the net. Yeah. And well done to Marin Cilic. He got the job done quite easily in the end. He didn't yeah. worry me that much because he ended with an ace. Shout out. And he's still jumping around. I <laughs> know. He's loving <laughs> he's it. He's loving Look life right now. Uh, and I'm so happy for him. He really does deserve it. Of yeah, course, yeah. one of the very few Grand Slam champions left in the draw. Could he go all the, all the way? Be the bridge. Ain't no snitch, make you my bitch. Marin Chilich, feel the rich. Ain't no snitch, make you my bitch. I'm Marin Chilich, I got the itch. Put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chilich, I got the itch. Put you in the ditch, you little bitch. I'm Marin Chilich. Just like that. Uh, Andre Rublev exits the tournament at the hands of the well U.S. Open champion from the past. It's going to be very interesting to see how he fares in the next round. 
he has, I'd say, a tougher opponent in Felix, who's in better form than Andre Rublev yep. right now. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that one progresses. Yeah, me too. Wow. Um, I enjoyed that match. Really good yeah. match. Thanks for all the super chats during it. Uh, really appreciate that. We'll see you later on tonight. But before that, we'll have the Silk Report out very soon. Uh, so hopefully you can join us for all of that. Unlucky, Chris. Uh, you come close. You gave us some hope at one point. Still uh, good, though. Ishan, I think. It was excitement. So, yeah, fair play to you. He's saying the, Bayer, the better player, no doubt. And I think Chilich definitely was the better player. So happy he did win. Uh, but, yeah, thanks for everyone who did join us. If you haven't already, please give us a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you later on for more Australian Open action. Indeed. See you then. See you then.